Have I become a little too shy for love? I've been hurt before. All's fair in love and war. So I snuggle up close to the shell I'm living in. And if I let you in, another round begins. And no, I'm spinning in a vicious cycle. I'm scared of doing something.
what is up everybody happy saturday night skilly here i hope everybody's doing good welcome welcome listen tonight i hope everybody brought their tukases because we are getting back to alan wake 2. this game has been amazing so far so i'm really excited i'm glad to finally be back at it after having to had to have take such a long break words grammar hard no do good talk well sometimes i don't know what the hell my sentence structure was right there but i made it through it anyway i hope everybody's ready because i think shit's gonna get pretty crazy tonight in alan wake so i'm ready i'm looking forward to it if you guys remember where we left off we left off we were playing as alan you know you play you've swapped between playing as alan and the fbi agent saga anderson we're playing as alan we're on initiation uh chapter five i think uh room 665 and essentially we're in the dark presences twisted reality version of new york city trying to figure out what's you know how to beat the dark presence and what's going on and last stream we got i got stuck last stream for a long time there was a glitch the only time we've encountered a, a, a glitch in the game there was a glitch with a doorway right and i was literally like blocked from entering the doorway and it was the way you were supposed to go and it took us forever to figure it out but we got that figured out hopefully we don't encounter any more of that stuff tonight but uh other than that this game has been perfection in my opinion so far so welcome everybody though what is up harry pine cones nicole morgan p swago aka Josue, dog soldier irish tater salad good to see you irish tater salad been a minute yarvis um, who else we got? Knight Rider, Paige. I think I saw Misty in here earlier. Spacewalker is listening from work. Spacewalker, I hope you're doing good, man. Charlie, good to have you. We had uh, Roman Unique as well. Null. Hey, I appreciate all you guys coming back out. I know it's been taking me a long time to get back to Alan Wake, so I appreciate everybody sticking around and helping out. I don't have anything stored in the shoeboxes, Alan. We're kind of... I have a lot of revolver bullets, but those go pretty quick. I'm kind of honestly, I'm a little, I'm a little bit low on supplies as Alan. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little bit low. All right, let's see. So yeah, we are, if I go to Alan's writing room here, let's look at our plot board and where we're currently at real quick. A make your wish. Welcome to the stream. Good to have you, Zim. Good to see you as well. Thanks for joining <clears throat> oh nicole i'm sorry to hear you got diagnosed with covid that sucks take care make sure you rest up covid can be rough so hey uh uh swago's wife as well welcome i hope you're doing good glad to have both of you again thanks for joining all right let's see here where were we if we look at the plot yeah that's right last episode two we did the musical chapter for alan which is just like an insane that chapter is like so meta and just like it's so unique i don't think i've ever seen anything like it in a video game it was fun it was it was interesting though it was uh very uncanny valley so all right hold on before we <laughs> before i start doing this also, I apologize if I sound... I am sick. I apologize if I sound all, like, nasally or weird or anything like that. Okay. There's an echo over here that we still haven't got. I've got a couple of undiscovered things. I am scared to go backwards where we are right now. We're kind of, like, in an alleyway and on a set of rooftops here because back here around this point of interest is where we got stuck last time with that glitch, so... I don't think I'm going to be going backwards. I think I'm going to be trying to move, move forward. Um, hold on, though. I need to orient myself. Yeah, I want to go up here towards this echo. That's where I want to go. Okay. What's up, warrior? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I appreciate this. Hey, no worries, dude. I can totally understand not wanting spoilers. I don't fault you for that. I'm surprised as many people have showed up as they have for two reasons. One, <laughs> Alan Wake's been out. Alan Wake 2's been out for quite a while now. So I would expect the excitement and everything has died down over it. And then the second thing is, um, yeah, I would imagine there's a lot of people who want to play this game for themselves and not and not have spoilers. So 
That makes total sense to me. All right. I think we got to keep moving forward for this echo. Do I put a light in or a light out here? I put a light in. Can I crawl through this over here? I vaguely remember. It's been a couple weeks. I vaguely remember some of this. What happens if, okay, if the light's in, it changes reality, right? Then that's that. If I take the light, does it change this passageway? Not, not really. So I think I'll keep... Oh, shit. That scared the fuck out of me for a second there. Hey, what's up, Michael, dude? Welcome. Thanks for joining. Hey, do you go by Mike or Michael, man? I don't know if I ever asked that. Josh G, good to see you. Thanks for joining. Nico, I think... I don't remember if I said hi, but Nico, welcome. Good to have you. Thank you for appreciating my Tukas vocabulary. <laughs> All right, if I take this light, what happens? All right, yeah, it gets darker, of course. It adds the water tower back in for one thing. All right. Where's the echo? The echo is more that way, so we have to go down. Okay. I'm going to leave the light right now right there as like a safe haven spot. Or maybe I have to take it to be able to get down. Hold on. I might have to take it to get down. You go by Mike IRL. Doesn't matter to me, though. I call you Mike if that's okay. If you're cool with that. I just try to ask people who typically have like... Yeah, you know, something else they go by. I try to respect that if I can remember it. At least for now. If the channel gets too big and there's too... There's already 24,000 of you guys. So sometimes, luckily, 24,000 people don't show up to the streams. But <laughs> if we ever get too big, I don't know that I'll be able to remember everybody. I'll remember all you OGs, that's for sure. Can I not get, can I not get down from here? That's not... That's, that's from the Cult of the Tree weird and there's that symbol can i literally i can't i can't go anywhere here can i hold on put the light back okay it changes the water tower is there the, i can't do anything with the water tower though maybe hold on let's look down maybe the purpose to that i need the light gone so that i can walk up the stairs that's what it is. Okay, the light was there. I need it gone. And then I need to go back down there. And now I could go up the stairs to that lost door. Okay, that's what that's for. Now the question is, how the fuck do I get back there? I need to go through. Okay, hold on. Snow Cartel, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. It said, can you say hello to my sister, Allie? She loves your... AR... Areem? Streams? Is that streams? Sorry, man. Hey, Ali. Hello. Welcome. Thanks for supporting the content, both of you. And thank you for the 1999 super chat. I really appreciate that. That helps out a bunch. So, Goober, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Goober said, <laughs> I hope all 25K don't pop in either. Hey, listen, I want my channel to grow and I would, and I want the streams to be bigger. I really do. But I think 25,000 people in my stream would stress me the fuck out. That's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. So, <laughs> unapologetic Yen, welcome. I hope you're doing good. Hey, uh, I noticed you said if you, you might be lurking some tonight. So if that's the case, it's all good. But if you want to chat, that's all good too. Uh, and welcome, Hannah. I hope you're doing good. Thanks for joining. <clears throat> you and Swago have some pizza and are stoked for the stream? Hell yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. All right, those are the stairs. How do I get back over there? Fuck, dude. Um, can I not? Hmm, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back up. Goober said we need like seven more mods. I th I honestly, like no joke, I'm, I'm not even lying here. I remember IGP did a stream. Um, I don't think he, he didn't have 25,000 people in the stream, but it was big. I don't remember. He had like three or 4,000, I think was his numbers. But um, IGP did a stream with Icy and me for Sons of the Forest when it first released. And that stream the chat moved so fast that i think even if you had like a hundred moderators i think it would be impossible to moderate like at that point all you could do is rely on like your pre-set up like filters and stuff 
I, 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 because the chat message just moves so quick that, like, there's no way somebody could keep up. So, yeah, that's, that's a unique problem to, to people who are, like, massive, uh, size-wise for streams. I think it's just literally, it, I think you could do other things like put slow mode on and stuff, right, to potentially help out, but it's almost impossible to moderate. Claire, what's up, Claire? Welcome. Okay, this is the safe room. Fuck, I don't know how to get to... I gotta go back up. I'm not fighting you, you fucking son of a bitch. There's Tim. We've already talked to him previously. Yeah, slow mode he helps. Uh, but I'm... Listen, I understand that some people have to use slow mode to moderate their chat. Uh, and I'm totally supportive of that. But I don't like slow mode because I feel like it kills... Um, it kills engagement, in my opinion, right? I want people to type multiple messages. All right, what do I do here? How the frickin' if frack do I get over there? Am I just dumb? I can't jump down. What happens if I put the light back here? Do I get, do I get a different navigation path? It might have something to do with wh where I end up when I go through that door. Okay. Yeah, it's slow at work and you're dealing with the winter storm. A lot of the U.S. is having, like, the fucked up weather right now. Led to. Oh, it did. It took me out of this door where the water tower was. Okay. That is a fucking creepy ass thing. Yeah, so I hope everybody's staying safe and warm because parts of the U.S. got a blizzard going on right now. Snow and then heavy rains and flooding and just a ton of fucked up shit. So everybody stay safe. Why did that trash can just blow up? I don't like that, dude. Hey, oh. All right, buddy. Dark presence is fucking messing with me, dude. What happens if I, uh, put the light back now that I'm down here? Now I got a little safe area, huh? Hold on, let's check the map. We're right here. The echo should be, like, straight in front of us here. Let's get that. Oh, is that, is that where the Dark Presence dude came from? All right, I see the Echo spot right there. We just have to line it up, right? We just have to get in the right spot here. Somehow, somewhere, some way. I don't know which way it goes. Maybe it's supposed to line up with the Casey sign back there? Hold up. We got to do it from back here, maybe? Let's take the light again real quick. Shorty, what's up? Welcome. Good to see you, Shorty. Hoover said, I love stream. That streams here are as intimate as they are. It feels like a real Starship crew. It does. Yeah. I like our streams. I feel like... I don't know what the exact number is, but I feel like... Somewhere between two and three hundred people. Uh, is like... It's, it's, it's big, that's a good size, but it's not too big where it's, like, unmanageable. So, the good news is we still have plenty of, of time for our streams to not be so crazy and overwhelming. If I continue to grow. What's up, Drac Ice? Welcome, dude. Why is tonight gonna be a challenge, man? Thanks for joining, dude. I hope you're good. Christine, good to see you. Thanks for joining. Why the fuck... Can I line up this echo? Where does it line up to? Hold on. We're gonna need to go over here. Does it line up to the... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is this like a little rooftop restaurant? Try our new Ocean View cocktail. Can I... I use that shotgun. Oh, there's a shotgun! Oh, dude, I gotta get in there, bro. If I put the light, can I get in? Hold on. If I put the light, can I get in? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. We're about to get a shoddy. We've had one as Saga, but we haven't had one as Alan. Bar menu, Manhattan. $20? Guys, I don't go to bars and buy drinks, but is that how much drinks are nowadays? An old fashioned? All right, if I was going to go to a bar and order a drink, I would do an old fashioned. Old fashions are great, but $22. Is that how much they cost? I mean, I guess it is New York. Oh, Prices are pretty eye. high. Um, I gotta, I gotta take the light back out for the shotgun to be there. There we go. Give me that shotgun. Woo! 
Yeah, baby. Because Arrow is streaming too, I have to share support to you both, LOL. <laughs> I didn't know Arrow was streaming. Interesting. <laughs> um, Jeff B, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I'm in an upscale place. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Mixed drinks can get that pricey here, Nameless said. Nameless, welcome to the stream, by the way. I don't remember if I said hi. Thanks for joining. I know you've been here since the start. So this is a double barrel, it looks like, right? Break action. Reload. Yeah. Yeah, double barrel. Um, I got... What is this? What? It, what's in here, man? All right, more shotgun shells. Good shit. Anything else before I put the light back? No. Is this... A, I mean, this place does look nice. Don't get me wrong, but it doesn't look like... It doesn't look that fancy. I mean, I guess it is like a New York rooftop bar. They got like a piano. What do I know, right? I'm just a hillbilly. Okay. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Ah! Shit, motherfucker. That's my only flare, but holy shit. Take that, bitch. Woo! Yeah. All right. I gotta, I gotta put the shotgun. How do I do my inventory again? Oh my God, it's been so long. I need a quick slot my shoddy. Um, actually, let's quick slot it there. What else do I have on quick slot? Flares, flashbangs, healing, batteries, first aid. Okay. I should, pr okay. I should probably put these first aid kits down here and I should probably use some first aid honestly all right just so that I'm all the way up I'm gonna I'm gonna use my shotgun for a little bit I have a bad habit of not using the really good weapons uh I'm gonna take the light back though right now hey what's up Carrie welcome to the stream thanks for joining SWAT master 859 welcome good to have you as well appreciate it Drac, I said apple juice is my bourbon, Kool-Aid is my wine, and water is my wine. <laughs> Quick slot, my shorty. That does sound a little... That does sound a little dirty. I don't know why. All right. This fucking... What was that? I see him. This fucking echo... Am I, like, standing in it right now? Okay. Okay. How do I use my flashlight again? There we go. That's how. Dude. Oh, the fuck? Where is he? Did I get him? I got him. Holy shit. Good thing I healed. He just took everything. Oh, I got a flare back, dude. I got a flare back. And I got another flashbang. Good shit. All right. He just took everything I healed. No, the echo's right there. Okay. How do I? Oh, I see where the echo lines up. Okay. All right. It actually lines up reverse this way. Hold on. There we go. You dream of calling it quits, hmm? Making a clean break, retiring, escaping, leaving all this sordid misery and terror behind. Getting in a car and driving till you see the sunrise. Somewhere where the sun still rises. Settling down, buying a house, fixing it up, building a life, finding someone. It's a fool's dream. It would all go bad. That's fucked up. And having <laughs> let hope in, it would be unbearably worse than this. You can take the man out of the city. But you can never take the city out of the man. <laughs> I love I love Alex Casey's character because they lean so hard into like that film noir, like cheesy, hard boiled one liner detective like character. And I love that. I love it. And also, like, look at that. There are no happy endings like that's such like a 
that's such like a one-liner like die-hard movie kind of thing i love it it's hilarious uh cheyenne welcome to the stream thanks for joining um no good to see you i don't remember if i said hi ojib welcome as well i'm doing all right ojib i'm feeling a little worse for the wear today so whatever viral thing i got i think is that it's it is prime right now. I don't know that I'll make it as long tonight as I did last night for Lords of the Fallen, but I'll be all right, man. I'm not that bad. I can't complain too much. I'm alive and I'm getting to play video games with you guys. That's that's always a good time. Um, <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with a nice cold glass of AJ. Apple juice? Dude, I love apple juice. I drink juice all the time. My wife laughs at me because I like... <laughs> I like juicy juice. <laughs> my wife, my wife, like she doesn't have a problem with juice and she'll drink juice herself too. But she's always like, you're such a, she's like, I feel like that's such a kid's drink. Like a kid's juice. Juicy juice is the fucking bomb though, dude. That shit is so good. All right. I don't know how to get back that way. So we're going to keep going this way. Let's keep going. Oh, I need. Okay. Uh... It can't be this easy, right? Hold on. One, two, three, four. All right. No, it's not that. All right. We got to find a code. We need a code. It's probably in the bar. Probably in the bar, isn't it? All right. Hold on. That would be my guess. This is the only place. The shotgun's in here, too. They want you to get the shotgun, so it's probably in the bar. So let's... Put the light in, get inside, look around with the light in, and then we'll look around everywhere else. What is this? If I look at this again? Alan commented last time. Two, two, one, two. There's a lot of twos and ones. I don't think... I don't see anything. There's a notepad here, but I don't see anything written on it. Goober said, I don't care what brand is long. Yeah, it being 100% juice is really important. I didn't open this. Is the code not in there? Nothing is in there. Okay. All right. What is their mascot? Is that a, a tiger, a cheetah, a bear? What is? What the fuck is that supposed to be? Can't tell what it is. What's up, Ghosty and Blue Burbus? Welcome both of you to the stream. What's up, uh, Manly666? Welcome. Thanks for joining. You're Josh's brother. Hey, that's awesome. Josh G, because we have like 10 Joshes. Junior! Junior, my dude. Junior's here. Junior, good to see you, man. Thanks for joining. And also, I appreciate it. I don't see any codes. I don't see any codes. Two, two, one, two. Hmm. I was using the first letters or the first numbers of their uh, cocktails. Is it on like a billboard or something out here? Ocean view. Damn it. Does, okay. Does having the light on change anything out here? Because we didn't really explore that. Change anything big out here. can also try having the light over there where the water tower is too. You like orange juice? I like orange juice too. That's your classic go-to for juice. I can get down with that. Hotel. All right. What about now? The lights over there? Nope. What could possibly? Okay, wait, there's an arrow that says go this way. And then there's another yellow. What is that yellow? What is that yellow symbol on the corner right there? Null. I remember those little hug barrel fruit drinks. Yeah. They were kind of like a knockoff Kool-Aid, weren't they? All right. What is that supposed to be right there? Is that like a C? I don't get it. <laughs> I feel like that has significance, but I don't know what significance it has. 
All right, what happens if we leave it like this? And then we go try the door over there or see if it still requires a code. Did that change the yellow arrows here? No, it's still there. Oh, what is this? Oh, word of power. Did I get this before? I must have gotten this before. Huh. How do you get these again? I don't know if I've gotten it. Do I have to be lined up like a particular... I must have gotten it because it's not showing on the map, right? I'm pointing right ahead. I must have... must have already did this. I would assume. Or does it want you to be like... Yeah. I think I've already gotten them. Skilly, did it have the price of that Ocean View cocktail? Oh, dude, that is... You are smart as fuck, man. That's a good point. Hold on. 25.50. Yeah, you're right. That's it. That's exactly it. Good shit. Good call. Let's go do that. Yeah, Ocean View cocktail sides everywhere. Yeah. 25.50. Oh. Oh. Oh, 2550. Yep, yeah, that's it exactly. Holy shit. Nice call. Looks a bit like the moon, but the video, the quality on your video is low. Yeah. Reminder, this game is gorgeous, by the way. Um, if your internet supports it and you, and you want to do it, make sure you click that cog wheel and up it. I always stream in 1440p 60 FPS. Get those beautiful visuals, man, if you can. All right. If I'm remembering correctly, if you guys remember from the first Alan Wake, from Control, and from other um, Alan Wake universe stuff, Ocean View Hotel is like this in-between place where you could switch realities or go to alternate universes, right? Remember, so this is a very important place in um the alan wake universe slash lore it's a big deal i hear do you guys hear that every time the bait the base does that like like that boom. There's like an undercurrent of like a, a, a scream there. That's a creepy picture. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. That's why that guy's in a diving suit, bro. There's a bunch of stuff here. I'm nervous. All right, here we go. I feel like I'm going to get attacked any second, dude. Do I go left or do I go straight? All right, do I have a map of this area? Undiscovered map. Well, shite. <laughs> Dude, that background ambience is starting to trip me out. Ugh. You guys let me know, is the game too low? Because I do have... Hold on. It looks like the game might be a little low. Let me, let me fix that a little bit. All right. Hey, uh, safe travels home, Claire. Allie said, I've been meaning to ask, why does Indy not use a face cam like you do, Skilly? So, uh, IGP did vlogs and did face cam for probably like the first three or four years he was on YouTube, I think, roughly. But, um, IGP, like, IGP's goal for his content or what he wants his content to be, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but he's an amazing editor. And he really likes making his videos like uh, this is going to sound pretentious, but he's not pretentious at all about it. But he wants his videos to be very cinematic, very movie like almost. So he really tries to craft like an audio and visual experience with the highest quality that he can. He does custom music and sounds a lot of times for his stuff. And he felt like personally face cam just detracted from the cinematic quality uh, that he was going for. Um, now. 
he doesn't think that his videos are the best thing ever and that they're movie quality but he wants he wants his videos like his goal for his youtube videos is for them to be high quality and he just felt like the face cam detracted from it i don't do face cam on my edited stuff because i want i i feel like face cam is a little it's it's more about interacting with the community and edited videos aren't so much that i do that in the comments i do it for streams though because the streaming the reason the reason i stream is to get to hang out with you guys and talk to you guys and because that that's the fun part and see your live reaction to what i'm doing <clears throat> so but yeah indie doesn't stream either so or at least not anymore he, he did some so but yeah so that's really why he has a he has a slightly different goal for empty, his content except for the projector more games was the film a message waiting to be played oh dude okay i'll i'll do i'll i'll bite i'll do it it says play me on it okay do i have to actually walk up to it i hit play okay oh that scared me for a second am i gonna get warped into this like the tv i am hold on cinematic Ugh. We gotta kill this. I love the blend that they do in this game of like live action, CGI, game graphics. It's just they've somehow done it to where it's never jarring when it switches right like that was a masterful change right there to have you turn on the projector and then press a button to go into a live action sequence it wasn't jarring it fit the game world made sense and it wasn't like an abrupt switch that's gonna be scratch in this temple no zane and mist. there's a window in the floor it's another the version of alan in the ceiling there's no knowing Am I standing still, or running, or kneeling? You're the one who's been calling me. Indeed. I'm Tom Zane. Welcome <laughs> to the House of Zane. The poet. The diver. You look like me. How the hell? Or maybe you look like me, you handsome devil. <laughs> the diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films. I'm a filmmaker, a celebrated auteur. I need answers. Why is Return so important? What, Alan? Return is the manuscript that Alan has started working like on. Come on, I'll fix you a drink. You and me, Alan. We're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? Crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus, Return, and its, its companion piece, my film. Sharing our, our life-altering visions, a, a melding of higher minds. Creaming up our transcendental work of art. Here, in this room, in this room. In this room, in this room, in this room. Oh. Oh man, this is trippy. <laughs> I need the clicker. <laughs> it's returned because we returned. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? We're watching Alan slowly descend into madness. That's what we're watching. Because <laughs> that is how the magic happens. Because now there are three versions of Alan Alan Wake, Enough of this Zane, bullshit. and Scratch. Alice is in danger. I need another murder site to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratch is... Your wife is safe back in the real New York. But Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. 
Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. <sighs> There's a murder site here in the hotel. Let the waves of your riding carry you there. Us. If anyone asks, you were never here. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Thomas Zane had ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. Whoa. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way to it. So, right, so just to recap, if anybody's missed uh, one of my... This is now the fourth or fifth stream. I think this is the... No, this is the fifth stream of Alan Wake that I've done. So, uh, Alan is stuck right now in the Dark Presences alternate reality of New York. And we are trying to work on a new manuscript for a book called Return. And the Alan's hope is, right, because his writing changes or shapes reality sometimes. Not always the way he intended. But his hope is to try to finish Return... And that will somehow get him out of this reality. And he's trying to, to he, he's worried that Alice, his wife, or I guess they were getting divorced. So maybe kind of ex-wife is, is in danger trying to get back to her. But that's our, that's our goal right now. There's an echo here. I still don't have a map for this place, do I? Drakai said, I still can't unsee Keanu Reeves and Alan. Yeah, no, definitely. It, especially this game, Alan Wake 2 and the actor that they have him playing playing as him absolutely 100 percent yeah with the suit on too by the way the suit that i have alan wearing here is a um i don't know if i could show you here this is not his normal attire this is a pre-order bonus the black and white suit he has like a tan suit if i remember correctly um as standard but i like this black and white one i just felt it fit the vibe of the game from the police radio kept me awake at night the word through the ether. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. <laughs> How meta can it get? He said, looking knowingly at the camera. I could sense the cult of the word in this and their leader, Mr. Scratch. Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path. Okay, whatever you say, Alan, if you know what the fuck you're talking about. Carrie with the five gifted channel memberships. Carrie, thank you so much. You're a legend and a rock star as always. Kami of Conquest, Cursed Monkey, Ari Rose, Pixel Rage, and Wheels187 all became channel members on behalf of Carrie. Carrie, thank you. Um, a reminder, if you don't have allow gifting on for my channel, it's free and easy to do. Just type exclamation mark gift in chat, click on the link and allow gifting. So if anybody else gives memberships and you would like to I receive one, you can get one. Lobby. Dustin, what's up? Welcome. Thanks for joining. Danny, welcome as well. Good to have you. Appreciate it. Thank you, um, Josh and Misty for doing that. Appreciate it. Entrance the hall, entrance new hall scene. The mood where everyone had come in. The victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea, clear as a vision, waited for me here. Okay, so I need to go to the plot board and do that real quick. Before I do that, though, let's... There's also another echo here. Let's do the echo and then we'll do the plot board because sometimes you get echo. Well, I have to get behind the counter for the echo, so let's do the plot board now. All right, what are we popping down, old Alan? Is there anything here? No. Why was it wanting me to go here? What is this? Dark presence is out there. Uh, it's hunting me. These spies are always watching. Oh, we've watched that before. We've gotten that before. I remember that from last stream. Okay. All right, we need to get to this echo. Is what we need to do. <laughs> Oh God! All right, I, I I didn't mean to shoulder charge that door. That scared the fuck out of me, dude. God damn it! I've done that a lot in this game. Hey, here's my map. Here's my map. Ocean View Hotel. Finally. All right, where are we? We're down here at the bottom. Okay. 
Yep, echo right there, which we're going to get. Oh, man. There's a lot. What is that? Room 104 key. So we need that. Okay, ballroom. Zane's room. All right. All right. We're good here then. All right, echo time. So you were the director of this play? Yeah, that's me. Our performance of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on. <laughs> the cult is an immersive theatrical experience. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to walk me through what that means. Immersive theater. A play where the audience can participate, spread across this hotel. The cult is a legend. The only written copy of the manuscript lost, the play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. The play was said to have special power. We were like kids playing with a Ouija board. And when you call for the devil, he will come. The pre-show ritual, that's it. Set it up. Okay. Start from the beginning. So we have to we have to probably use our our light to set up yeah the pre-show ritual like it's saying. Interesting. I got a new plot board element though, so let's drop that on. Or it said I had a plot board element. Find the murder site at the hotel. Find the site of the pre-ritual show. Did it not say? But pre-show ritual. Okay. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. That changed everything. Oh, okay. A forbidden play brought to life. Has anybody ever been to a play like... Those are real things, by the way. Plays where, like, it's interactive with the audience. I've never been to one. Has anybody been to a play like that? I've been to lots of plays before. I've never layers been to one of those. Layers. A play about a murder cult infiltrated by a real murder cult. Mm. The ballroom was where the pre-show ritual was held. That's where we need to get to. Okay. We got to get to the ballroom, which if we look at the map... Do I have anything else to add here right now? I don't. I look at the map over here, right? The, uh... Investigation. Okay, so I'm still supposed to do something here. The ballroom is all the way... We're gonna have to make our way... Th we're gonna to get to the second floor. The stairs are right there. We're gonna have to make our way through the entire first two floors of the hotel, pretty much, it looks like. I don't like that. Um, can I not take a light out of here? Is all this stuff for the play? Am I still supposed to do investigation here? It said there was an investigation thing right here. Hold on. Yeah, I'm like right on top of it. It's like this thing, right? Is it not this thing? Or do I just need to put it on the plot board? Maybe. No, not words of power. What do I do over here? Play of shadows. Yeah, I had to keep it interesting. Blah, blah, blah. Can I trust Zane? Get returned before scratch. Returns the key. Hotel murder site. Okay. I also have a new radio thing, but that's because we listened to that before. Final case. Okay, get rid of that. I don't know. Does anybody see? And I guess I just got to look around for this investigation point. There should be something here. Can I use the elevator again? For real? Oh, I can. Okay. Before we do that, though, we, we have to check out the entire first floor, right? I can't skip this stuff. All right, let's go this way. It still says, though... Oh, right here. A forbidden play brought to life. The cult. Is that the last thing I needed there? If we look at the map now, yes, it is. Yeah, okay. I just needed that little piece up there. All right. Safe room? Safe room, hey. Every time I see this shoebox, do you guys know that, um, is it Element 86? I'm gonna forget, there's a new metal band. They have that song, Devil in a Shoebox. You guys know what I'm talking about? Every time I see a shoebox or a thing or like think about a shoebox in real life, for some reason, that's the that's the like first thing that I think about all the time. I don't know why. Caleb Roberts, thanks for subscribing to the stream. I appreciate it. Leon, what's up? Thanks for joining. I 
I have never done an escape room. That looks like a... Gotta reload, gotta reload! Woo, baby. All right, I gotta save shotgun shell. Oh my God, there's three, four? Oh fuck, dude, you know what? You know what? <laughs> What's up, bitch? Take that, motherfuckers. Flashbang them, dude. There were too many. The flashbang took care of three of them, and then I killed that fourth one with bullets. There were way too many right there, dude. I wasn't going to play around with that. That that was not okay. <laughs> now I got to walk through. I just... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I would be death, 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 and blind being that close to a flashbang. My dumbass didn't turn around. I just stared at it. All right, what do we got in here? Hold on, before we go to the next room, I need supplies. Wait, National Cheese Lovers Day is um the 20th? Is that is that American or is that another country? I want to participate in National Cheese Lovers Day. I should do when is the 20th? 7 days away? Is that a Friday or Saturday? Do I normally stream on that day? We could do a cheese lover stream. I could get like a bunch of different cheeses and we can try them and I can rank I can rank them. I don't normally do streams like that, but I want to eat cheese. You're in the U.S., Blue Burvis. Okay. I wasn't sure. I couldn't remember. So the 20th is... Oh, dude. That's a national holiday for me then. <laughs> Nico said I celebrate every day. I mean, yeah, you guys know me. I celebrate National Cheese Day every day as well. I have never taken a bath in a bathtub with one of these things. <clears throat> I feel like I got to do that once in my life. That's like a bucket list item. It feels so fancy. Feels very smanchy smanchy. Wanna do it. You vote cheese day? Somebody can somebody look on a calendar? Final the scene, the new the scene. Corridor was closed off. It felt significant. Something okay. terrible would happen there. Something terrible would happen there. Okay. Oh, the final scene is right there. Okay. Alright. Alright. So that's an important place. Did I wait, did I go in the door back here? It did. It was the bathroom. There was nothing in there. That's right. No cheese for Skilly. He must be really... There's also cheese day in June. I didn't know that. Cheese stream? Yeah, we should do a cheese stream. And then and then I have an excuse that I can lie to myself. Like, you need to eat all this cheese because it's for stream. <laughs> there are symbols on the door, so I don't know what that means, man. I don't know what that means, dude. Right now, weird ass symbols on the doors. What is I needed up? to find the key? Room 104, right? It's said on the map the 104 key is back there. Okay, we'll go back and find that in a second. We're gonna check the rest of this out. None of these other doors, I couldn't get in. I was missing something. 101. Okay. And this loops back around to the lobby. Okay, so we got to go get the key over here. Where exactly was the key? Fordmore. It's like at the corner. It says it's like right, right sure. Ocean View Hotel closed due to water damage. Do not enter. We apologize for the inconvenience. There's blood right there. And that's a, that's a bucket with, with a hole in it. I don't know why. So the key must be inside this room then, right? Because it says it's right here. Yeah, it says like I'm literally on top of it, but I think it's inside that room or right past that. So then the question is, how do we get in there? It's like I need to get in here. Please do not disturb. I need to get in this room, I think. Does my map say that I can go in that room? It does not. Locked, locked. I need to go to the stairs. There's an echo at the stairs, too. I need to go. I think I need to go up. I think I need to go up. 
Where are the stairs? Yeah, that's still I locked. The key. That's right. The stairs are blocked off? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the elevator and go up. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to go back. We're going to use the elevator. We're going to go up. We're going to see what happens. If it'll let us go to the second floor. Somebody's playing the piano. I don't like that, bro. Is the elevator just going to take us back to Thomas Zane's room? Or are we going to get to the second floor? How much cheese have I had today? I had mac and cheese for dinner, man. I had mac and cheese. So I had a sub for lunch. I had a turkey sub for lunch with cheese on it. Extra cheese. Always extra cheese. I'll, every sandwich that I have has extra cheese on it. Every sandwich has extra cheese. And then um, I had mac and cheese, baked beans, fresh broccoli, bananas, cinnamon bananas. My wife sprinkled cinnamon on them. Bananas, strawberries, and raspberries. Um, that was my dinner. I guess the baked beans were kind of like our protein. We didn't make a protein. <clears throat> so, you know, it was a good dinner. It was good. So I've had a lot of cheese. Thanks for subscribing, Lady Alcina. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining. You said the wife should be on the cheese stream. I, you guys are going to have to figure out some bribery to get the wife to join at all. I don't think she, <laughs> she, I don't, I, I don't know how she feels about, about coming out of stream or being, I, I've never asked her. And uh, she, I, I told you guys last night, cause we were talking about the camera, right? And like people doing, not realizing they're on camera with like arrows story. And um, <laughs> like, she always asks me if she comes during dur during the day when I'm working or if I'm talking to Indy, but we're not recording. She's always like, is your camera on? Like, it's like she doesn't want to be on camera. So I don't, I don't know. You guys are going to have to find, I don't know what you're going to do to bribe her, but you're going to have to find some bribery to get Miss Skilly on the camera, even if it's for a quick hello. <clears throat> you had the same for dinner? You had the same thing as me? We'll do a cheese stream though. Did anybody? I missed it. Is what, what day is the 20th? If it's seven days from now, it should be a Saturday, right? Is my math right? Is that how math works? It's not how math works. The elevator just took me back here. This is not. Is this right? This is right. It's not right. It is right. No, no, no. This is leaving. I don't want to leave. I want to go back. Yeah, I just think, I just think she's, uh, my wife is, I wouldn't call her shy. She's just reserved. And she also, like, making content or, like, you know, I, she's not as, uh, crazy as me in that regard. So, I guess, I guess the, uh, can the elevator, I can't pick, go to second floor? All right. Leon said it will be a Saturday. All right. Well, I'm going to have to procure. I'm going to have to procure some cheeses. We'll still play a game, but I'll have to procure some cheeses for it. We'll have to celebrate in style. What's my opinion on cold mac and cheese? I mean, it's still mac and cheese, so I'll eat it, but I don't see why you can't warm it up unless you have a reason that you can't. So... I would prefer to have warm mac and cheese, but I will eat cold mac and cheese if it's my only option. <laughs> Make some baked brie. Oh, I'm going to have to cook. You want me to cook? Wait, why would I leave? Should I leave? Hold on. Let's look at our map real quick. Is there a reason for me to go back out in the street? No. Why would I go back out in the street? I don't need to be back out here. Now I can leave through the front door though. Hmm. All right. I don't need to do that. Oh, Miss Skelly is way better looking than me. I just think she just doesn't have any uh, desire to, to do this or do what I do. I'm not saying she'll never show her face or whatever. I just, I just don't know that it, it, I think if I was like, hey, I want you to come on stream or I want you to show your face, she'd be like, why? I'd be like, oh, people are curious. They just want to see Miss Skilly. And she'd be like, yeah, but what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to say? And I'd be like, I don't know. Just say whatever you want. And she'd be like, I don't know. I feel weird about that. I'd be like, all right. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Excuse me, bitch. 
Alright. Okay. Got rid of those guys. I'm stuck! I needed to find the key. I don't know what to do. There's symbols. There's symbols on the doors. I don't know what this means. What am I supposed to do? All right, chat. If you know, you can help me out. I don't want to be stuck. I don't want to make you guys watch me struggle forever. Where do I get the key? Can I not open this? These items are usually openable. Those suitcases. What are these shadows, guys? So the big bad in Alan Wake is something called the Dark Presence, right? And these shadow guys are people who have been taken from... I guess this is the wrong way to call it, but there's no other way to call it. I guess what you would call the real world, right? Or what we think of as the prime reality, right? There are people who have been kidnapped or killed or taken by the Dark Presence and twisted into like this dark manifestation and the Dark Presence uses them to attack or hinder Alan, right? They, it's hard to describe and it's never really fully described, but I think like they exist in like the real world and in the dark twisted reality we're in right now but they don't really like they're kind of like this stuck in between and light hurts them and if you use enough light on some of them they'll either die or they'll manifest enough for you to shoot them and kill them you never get like a full detailed explanation of this is exactly exactly what they are but that's the that's the rough around the edges so Maybe I need to go back in the bathroom. Am I missing something here in this room? No. Like the stairs are there and it says there's an echo there, but how the fuck do I get to the goddamn stairs? Man. I see nothing. There was just that one little box to open in here. What am I supposed to do? We'd ask her questions so she wouldn't have to worry about thinking of uh, thinking of stuff to talk about. Oh God. <laughs> that's dangerous i have no idea what she'll say you guys will probably ask her questions about me i have no idea what she'll say what am i supposed to do here for real i need to get past this what happens if i shoot it nothing i didn't think that would do anything but you know it's worth one bullet to figure out what's up uh toon toon slicka i'm butchering that i'm so sorry love listening to the banter hey thanks for joining the stream i appreciate it Go to the lobby, go to the lobby and use final scene. Okay, go to lobby. All right, let me do that then. This is entrance hall. Is this not the lobby? Let me try here. Am I supposed to go here? Oh, I'm supposed to use pre-show ritual? I changed the story. And there we that, go. The dark place changed. That's right. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. You're so, that you could use his writing to ch I forgot. Thank you. If I had remembered that, this would have been a lot easier. Next time I'm stuck, th I'm stuck this stream. I'll know to do that. All right. Now the key is probably over here. Right? What's our map say? Yeah. Stuff has changed, so we should be able to do something somewhere. I've flatlined? Oh, no. I have no heartbeat. You guys are talking about my wife. It scared me so much I died. <laughs> All right. Can I get in here now? No. Where's the key? Is it in this vase? No. What the fuck? I thought that was supposed to change shit. What is this? There's wood. There's wood stuff everywhere now. What is this shite? Can I open these doors now? No. I couldn't get in. It still wants to was key. missing something. Obviously, Alan. There's patterns here. What am I supposed to do? Is there a key? Okay. Maybe it's in the office back here? Oh, wait. Why? Why is this all? 
Huh. Why am I stuck? Oh, there's a chair right there. That I apparently don't understand how to walk on. There's also something here. Okay. I don't know what that is either. I gotta stop using char- Okay, what if I go in here? The keys are not on the hooks. What have I done? Oh, final scene. Changing a plot element in a scene without being there was impossible. Oh, I need to go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I need to actually go to the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to be right here, and I need to change the plot element to go through. I got it. 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 All right. Uh, Pre-show ritual. Bam! I remembered, baby. There we go. There's the key. The troop were busy building their own... God, that was so much easier. ...where they themselves would be sacrificed. The prop room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. Okay. Move these props to room 225 for later for use in the ballroom play. Is it... Excuse me? I heard you move over there, you son of a bitch. All right. Am I dead again? No, I'm not dead. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, thanks for subscribing to the channel. Nightshade1161. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining. All right, so I got to go. I got to go to second floor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to go to second floor. Right? What is that what my goal says? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Hold on. All right, so what happens? Can I change? Can I Can I use? I need to go on the stairs. Is what I need to do. So if I flip this... I add a new element from here. I'd I'm not over there. The I need to go here. Does this allow me to go upstairs now? No. Dude. Dude, bruh. Dude, bruh. No, 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 dude, bruh. Maybe I need to be... This is pre-show ritual. Oh, I got the 104 key. That's right. I got the key. I need to go to 104. I'm stupid. All right, we're going to run around again. We got this. Listen, I'll figure it out eventually. Here we go. There's a red light in there. It looks like. I don't like that. Does Skilly Fart smell like cheese? <laughs> that would be your question to my wife. I can ask her and report back if you want. <laughs> oh, man. So you guys would traumatize my poor wife. She would be like, what's... <laughs> she was like, what's going on in your community? What are you guys doing over there? All right. Um... <gasps> Oh, it's like a whole another room. Did this take me into the other? Somehow we went in room 104 and we have come out in room 225. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? All right, hold on, though. It said it said there was a container on the map in room 104. But I can't... Yeah, it says there's a container right where I'm at. Somewhere here. Somewhere around here, there's a container. Right here. Supplies. All right. Just, just, just bolates. That's okay. <laughs> yes, please ask her. <laughs> All right. We have a save point. That's good. That worries me though. Like, what is? What are they gonna do? What's What's changing here? All right. Devil in a shoebox. <laughs> All right. Second floor hallway. 
Uh, we, we gotta find we got oh we want to go to the ballroom we want to go all the way down to the ballroom okay okay hey hey panicking panicking just a little bit i've used a lot of flashlight oh god oh god shotgun time baby yeah wait i'm gonna wake you up bitch Oh no, there's more. There's more. I'm running out of flashlight, dude. Come on! Come on, Lord, reload! Reload, 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 reload! Oh shit, dude! Oh shit, dodge! Dodge, Alan. Dodge, 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 dodge. Woo! Oh, fuck, dude. All right. Time to heal. That was rough. That did not go smooth. That was bad. That was bad, man. All right. Well, obviously... There's yellow arrows here. It wants us to... Oh, shit. I didn't expect to be able to break in there. Also, screw acting like an adult. I have never tried making my own cheese, Drac Ice. I'm worried that I would put a lot of work into it. And, like, not always, right? But I think, I think it would be fun to do, but I think I would probably end up disappointed in the final product. And that would, I, I, that would upset me because I don't want to, I'm, I love cheese so much. I don't want to make bad cheese. Sometimes a hulk in metropolis. Oh there no, Mr. Door. On the road that leads us there. And yet, like a half remembered echo of a fading dream. All right. I don't want to do that yet. Hold on. I guess I am doing that. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Get out of my way. I want to check out this other room because that's going to take... I feel like that's going to change reality. Oh, it's telling me to... Get out of my way. Get out of my way! Dear God. This whole place is fucked up. Another bathroom? I'm just barging into people's hotel rooms and bathrooms. Yeah, this is why I wanted to check out other stuff. For supplies. Wait, 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 wait. I don't have enough inventory space. Fuck, dude. I got a new television commercial? Let's watch this all the way through real quick. A special place, a shifting space, existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Sometimes a quaint small town, sometimes a hulking metropolis. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there. And yet, like a half-remembered echo of a fading dream, always familiar to us. These are the stories that take place there. More inspiring, macabre, terrifying, heartbreaking, nail-biting, absurd, and thrilling. Sometimes all of these things at once. A haunting new season of mind-bending episodes. It's like the Twilight Zone, dude. I am your host, Gorlin Dor, and I will see you soon in Night Springs. It's de it's definitely like the Twilight Zone. You know, I think that guy's last name being Dor is very prophetic. Prophetic? Is that yeah, that's how you say that. Um, because every time you like see a TV commercial with him or something, like he's always like whenever you interact with him or interact with one of the TV things you see of him you're going into like an alternate reality, right? Or you're like, you're like, you're like being transported. Hey. Stop that, y'all. I want to take this bandage. I need that bandage. <laughs> Get out of my way. No, I don't want to let you die. You do, you do whatever you want. I'm not dealing with you, though. Leave me alone. I have too much stuff in my inventory, and that bothers me. 
Get the bucket out of the way, dude. Why is the bucket in my way? I need the batteries and shit that are in here. Also, can I not pick that up now because the bucket's in the way? That's more shotgun shells, right? Yes, thank God. All right, how do I... There we go. That's the button to bring up. Is there anything I can get rid of? I need to use flashbangs, I guess. I forgot I have the flare gun, too. I should quick slot that, shouldn't I? Up there, probably. Shotgun ammo, handgun ammo. Damn. All right. I guess I'm not picking up that trauma pad. At least not right now. That's okay. Let's uh, keep exploring around real quick before we go through that through that door. I don't want to ignite a flare. I just don't want to go over to the ballroom yet. We're heading that way. Okay, let's go back then. Because I think that might be that might be the way. A fistful of pesos. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Yeah, Alan Wake's not a difficult game per se. So yeah, I haven't died yet. Oh, can I not? I guess I picked up the TV commercial. That's all that was. Never mind. It definitely looks like, though, you could change reality and go this way. Maybe I fucked up and I should have did the commercial while I was there. I don't know. We'll find out. Dude, they did such a good job with audio design in this game, though. Background ambience is just next level. Wake. And then he just creepily walks around the fucking corner. Asshole. Can't open any of these, okay. And he's gone. Lovely. Lovely. That's the ballroom. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. What happened to me? Did he throw an axe at me? Got him. Fuck, dude. Unknown voice humming. Oh, it's Tim. It's I Tim. A key. Oh, what room is this? I need a key for this. What room is this? What room are we at? That's Tim. 209. Fuck, I need to get to Tim. That's Tim humming, the uh, sheriff from Bright Falls, right? He got trapped in the dark place at the beginning of the game. Shit. Whoa. All right, let's watch it. Hey, thanks for subscribing to the channel, Nasus. I hope I'm saying that right. Appreciate it. Welcome. It's not difficult combat-wise, like death-wise. Yeah, I agree with you. I do get stuck on every puzzle, but that's just because I'm an, an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the smartest. I'm not the what do they call it? I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I'm not the brightest crayon in the box. What are the what there's other words for it, right? Oh, dude, I want a trauma. You know what? No, I shouldn't use damn. If I could just What happens if I drop something from my inventory? Let's try it out. Flare gun ammo. What do I want to drop? Dude, I really don't want to get rid of any of this. And I'm scared if I discard it, it's gone. It doesn't like fall and you repick it up. Yeah. Fuck. All right, we'll leave it. I need to unlock more inventory slots is what I really need to do. I can open this door too. Nope. It could not be opened on this side. Uh, Kalea, welcome. I hope you're doing good. Apologies if I said that wrong. Don't take offense. I mispronounce everything. Reversed? Reserved for rehearsals. Reversed. It's reversed for rehearsals, guys. No, yeah. No, come on. Some of the, the door let me in before we go to the ballroom. Uh, 225. All right. All right, let's go to the ballroom. Fuck it. I'm not the sharp kind of cheddar. I love it, Dracice. I'm going to use that from now on. That's perfect for me. I'm not the sharpest cheddar. <laughs> Dude, 
Dude, by the way, sharpest cheddar is probably like my go-to cheese. Like that's my staple cheese. That's the cheese that we use all the time. Ballroom, new the scene. The ballroom would be the stage of a key scene in the play. I like that jazzy music. Room 101. All right. Can I play the piano? Quick save. And then we'll do a over right here. It's not rocket surgery. Is rocket surgery a thing? I don't think, right? <laughs> Is that what, dude, if I was a, if I was a rocket scientist or an, an engineer that worked on rockets and fixed them, I would totally call myself a rocket surgeon. That's great. That's a great title. That's exactly what I would do. All right, hold on. Let's look at the map. Does it tell us there's anything in here? Not yet. We probably have to use our alternate bending technique here. But before we do that, we'll explore it in its current state. See what happens. Some, I like this music, dude. It's jazzy music. I was expecting Ahidi, the waiter, to be here. And be honest. All right, you know what? Let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, pre-show ritual it, huh? What's it look like then? The scene had changed. Oh, shite. Oh, no. Call to the tree. That's not good. Who's dead? And where are they? Somebody here has got to be dead, bro. It'd be, it would be cool if I could play the piano. I kind of wish I could. Did you know Elon Musk made his official title Technomancer? Badass sounding job. <laughs> I mean, technically... Technically, I have my own business as an editor slash consultant for YouTubers. And so I, I'm an independent contractor working for IGP and others. So technically, I can make up like, you know, my job title could be whatever I want it to be. Like, you know, I could be corporate banana if I want, you know. So or I could be, uh, you know, Lego master, you know, whatever I want to be, I could be. The cult in the play was called the cult of the tree. With their deer masks, they were the backwoods echo of the cult of the words urban horror. What's up, Nine Inch Colas? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Captain Banana, corporate cheese. Yeah, corporate dull cheese. <laughs> That's great. All right, play schedule 2023. Uh, what's it say here? Rehearsal room, move to room 202. Pre-show ritual, premiere, rehearsal move. Okay, so we need to go to 202. Remember, with your marks, keep your masks on and make it weird. That's creepy. All right, play schedule Tuesday, October 22nd, rehearsal in room 219, move to room 202. Pre show ritual is the premiere on October 24th, and that says the same thing. Okay, so we need to go to room 202, essentially. Why do they keep changing the rooms of where there's a lot of cult masks here? They like taking over this entire place. Thanks for subscribing, Jasmine. I appreciate it. Good to have you. Didn't I say Colas? Isn't that how you say it? I almost said Nine Inch Nails. You're right. Every time, Nine Inch Colas, every time I see your name, I think of Nine Inch Nails because I like Nine Inch Nails. It's a good band. Every time I see your name, though, I think of that. I, I stopped myself, though. I stopped myself and I got it right. Oh, yeah. By the way, I never actually tried to play the piano, I don't think. Yeah, I can't. You can't. All right. All right, let's go to room 202. Oh, hey, somebody got pissed, broke some chairs. It's not okay. That's not proper etiquette. Did your mom ever teach you manners? 202 is down this way at the very end. All right. Yeah, there's a trauma pad in there. Can I pick that up yet? What's my inventory? No. You know what? Hold on, though. I can go get the trauma pad. Watch this. Where's, uh, where's my shoebox? All right. There we go. Go get the trauma pad, heal, and then come back and pick up my, uh, my, my thingamabobs, my doohickeys, my whatchamacallits. 
a thingamajigs. The where's the trauma pad again? In here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I can just do this. I can heal all the way up. Ow! That sounded painful that time. Why did it sound painful? Oh, you make music like them. That's awesome, Nine Inch Colas. Do you have a? Do you have a? Listen, I don't. I'm not gonna do this all the time. I'm not gonna do this for everybody. But for some of you OGs, uh, Nine Inch Colas, you've been in the community for quite a while. If you want to drop a link, if you have any of your music online or anything, no pressure. You don't have to share if you don't want to. But if you want to share your music in the Discord, I would be. I would love to check it out. So you have my permission. I like music. I like finding new music too. So, big music fan. All right, I've already did this, right? We want to go to room two hundred two, which is at the end of the hallway, right? Yep. It was locked, locked. on the other side. I have the one. I have the one hundred one key. I need to go back downstairs, right? I need to go back over to one hundred four. Which the way we get to 104 is through here, right? I need to be and then use the 101 key. That's what I need to do. Excuse me? What was that? Did you say something to me? Alright. Nah, shut the fuck up. Nah, back off, bitches. I got the key to this. There we go. I don't have a link for you yet, but I'm working on a good sir. Okay. All good, man. All good. Excuse me. Oh, new commercial. Hold on. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I am the only person that you're watching who's playing this game. Interesting. I am way behind. <laughs> I feel like every other YouTuber that I know that played this game finished it a long time ago. So I can't pick up any of this. What are these? Are those? That's flashbang ammo. God damn, dude. I really need flash or not flashbang ammo. It's flare gun ammo, but it takes up one spot each. Oh, I need to store stuff in a shoebox like hardcore because that flare gun ammo is important. It's really important. It's a flashlight battery. I could take that. Um, I'm actually about to go back and store some stuff. Because flare gun ammo is rare and f it is it is like it's like you could think of it as like your rocket launcher in Alan Wake essentially, right? Because the enemies are weak to uh to light right so flare gun is like your go-to so what do i want to save out of here i think i could put two flashbangs back even though those are really good and that will give me i don't know is that gonna open up enough for flare gun ammo it's gonna open up enough for one more flare gun ammo but that's it All right, do I want to keep flares for a long duration? And it's heavy, it's like heavy damage and stunning it. Do I want flares or I also, because the game is giving me two flare gun ammo right there. And I think I've only ha ever had two flare gun ammo total. I'm worried that we might be coming up on like a little, uh, a little crazy sequence. Um, I think I'll move my, I think I'll save my flashbangs and then I should be able to pick up both of those flare gun ammos. I mean, is this the right way? This is the right way. From now on, this is called wake the game. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, 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 sir. 
Get out of my way. I don't want to waste too much of my batteries. I don't have many flashlight batteries left. All right. Flare gun ammo. Here we go. I'm not going to be able to pick up the pain pills, but that's okay. I'm more worried about getting the flare gun ammo. Another battery too, right? There we go. All right. I have nine. That's not right. I have nine flare gun ammo. Hold, hold up. Hold up. Yeah, that was... Oh my god, I have so much flare gun ammo. Okay. Oh, uh, holy shit. You guys want to see? I don't think I've used the flare gun, but like one time with you guys. Let's use it. Fuck it. The game gave it to us. Balls to the wall, right? Is there anything else in here? Let's look at our map real quick. It's a reason... Yeah, just the pills. You get to the second floor that way. There's a reason we got the key and came back here. The game wanted us to do this. Can I use... There's this barrier. Can I use something to break this barrier down? Can I do like a plot point here somewhere? We're in pre-show ritual. What if I change... I had to be at the scene. To That's see right. To understand it in order to change it. All right. What happens... I've unlocked this door. What happens if I change this scene... For the first floor real quick yeah all right hold on let's change this scene and see what changes here we go if we go back to room 101 right the scene here had changed close the door fuck you bitches <laughs> All right, does that change anything in 101? Fuck. I didn't change a goddamn thing. <laughs> Shite. All right. <gasps> Let's uh, run around and go over here and see if changing this scene up here changes anything. All right. What happens if we take this off a of pre-show ritual? All right, it flips back to that, but does it change anything over in those other rooms for us? Let's go see. That's the flare gun. Pretty crazy. Pretty ridiculous. All right, get out of my way, bitch. All right, this is... Where are we at? All right, that's how we get to the second floor. I don't need that right now. I want to see, did that change anything over here in 101? No. Investigate the rehearsal room 202. All right, let's look back at the map. Is there any keys or anything anywhere for us? Hmm. Scene, entrance hall, scene, final scene scene ballroom maybe if i'm upstairs and i change the scene from pre-show in the ballroom maybe that does something with 202 i don't see a key anywhere on the map though to get into 202 all right let's go fix let's get back to pre-show rehearsal for both of these scenes and then go from there all right i should be able to change it from here Dracai asked, will I uh, stream Pacific Drive when it comes out? Yeah, uh, I am going to make content on Pacific Drive. I don't know yet whether I'm going to stream it or whether I'm going to do edited videos. We'll see. I need to um, do some research on like how long it is. And like, I want to understand better. I know it's a survival game and it's like a driving sim slash survival game. But I want to understand like... This is, this is hard for me to describe because whether or not I stream a game versus do edited videos on it depends on the game and the gameplay style and length and a lot of things. So I need to I need to wait until closer to release and figure out if I think if I think it fits stream better or if it fits edited videos. But I plan on fully playing it in one medium or another with you guys. Absolutely. So. We also have Nightingale coming out at the end of February, which is like a survival 
kind of multiplayer thing that I know IGP and I will do together for some of it, but I'll probably play more of it too solo as well. Uh, it comes out, I think, like either the day before or the same day as Pacific Drive. So that's another one. Uh... Yeah, the if you guys have seen, like IGP just dropped a video on Pacific Drive, which by the way, after I finish streaming today, if you haven't watched it or if you're looking for something to watch tomorrow, you should definitely check out his Pacific Drive video. Um, that his Pacific Drive video and any other YouTuber that you've seen play it, their videos are all from a like a special demo that the Pacific Drive devs gave to um, some content creators. I did not get access, unfortunately. Um, but uh, that is not like that progress and what they did in the demo is not carry over to the main game. The main game has a lot more stuff is a lot is is different in some regards i mean it's a supposedly a good representation of the game but there's more to the game than what you saw in those videos so is my understanding all right i just need to go back upstairs i think right which this is not the way to do that i need to go to 104. did the core of this place upsets you yeah it's all messed up the best part of the skilly video is out of constant screams. <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably just I'm probably uh, destroying my vocal cords. Who knows, though? All right. I want to go. I want to go back to the ballroom. I want to change it from a pre-show prep, and then I want to try room 202. So that's what we're going to do. Right. Is that the plan? Is that what I want to do? I think that's what I want to do. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. What happens if I go to 219 though? Did I try to go into 219? I don't remember if I did. Because that wasn't that the original room. It was. So we haven't been in here. This is probably where I needed to go. Because this was the original rehearsal room and they changed it to 202, right? So there's probably like a key to 202 or something in here. This is probably where you get the key. Fuck, man. Inventory space. Survival horror, dude. Inventory management. I'm doing a shit job. Hey, we can change reality right here. All right, hold on. Before we do that, am I taking a light or giving a light? I think I'm giving a light. No, I'm taking. God, that is so trippy. I will never get over doing that. Oh. It's mind bending. Soothe Rhodes, what's up? Welcome. Good to see you again. Yeah, it has been a bit. No said rip. I don't know if I am. I don't know. There's a so the only reason I said that is because I like metal music. I like a lot of different types of music, but uh IGP and I are big fans of metal. And uh, you know, a lot metal vocalists scream, right? And uh IGP and I were both in different bands during our life, our early teen years and college years. Um, if you know anything about metal vocalists and everything, they actually, a lot of them, or at least the ones who do it proper, they train how to scream appropriately so that they don't damage their vocal cords. Uh, because you can actually hurt yourself screaming vocally, especially if you're like a metal vocalist and you do it all the time if you're not doing it proper. There is a legitimate proper way that you can learn to scream that does not harm or do any damage to your voice. I don't know for those who have ever been to like a big sporting event if you're if you get into it and you're cheering a lot and maybe you're not used to screaming and then the next day your voice this is, is like gone gather before the play. it's because you didn't scream properly this is where it began <laughs> it's because you didn't scream properly and you agitated your vocal cords and did some temporary damage to them you inflamed them and they have to heal you can get you can train to scream properly so fun fact you didn't know that it, where it becomes second nature too so a lot of uh, really good metal vocalists will actually tr do vocal training to train themselves how to scream properly so that they can have a long career being a metal vocalist and that they don't fuck up their voice. So thanks for subscribing to the channel, Nathan. I appreciate it. Dracai Slenderman was your favorite 2023 video from me. That's awesome. I had a lot of fun with that game, dude. That game was fun. All right, plot board. I am supposed to do pre-show ritual here. That's what I'm supposed to do. 
the plot shows the details of the world. What the fuck? It like completely blocked me off from that side of the room. That's weird. That one new SCP game that IGP and I did, what was that? Are you talking, you're not talking about containment breach. New SCP, oh, SCP 5K. 5K, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, no, that game is in very early access. Has so much promise and potential. I'm really excited to like, there's an echo back here. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta fix this. I gotta un-pre-show ritual it. I gotta go back over there and pre-show ritual it from that side to get the echo probably, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 We gotta be over here when we do this. Now pre-show ritual. Here we go. Here's the echo. All right. How can I set I do it from this angle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ritual to lead you on. Hmm. Why set up a play in a hotel? Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. Did we summon the same thing? Who is Ed? Something horrifying. It, it seemed. Is he the guy from the diner in the beginning? The couple who found Nightingale murdered? I don't remember. You don't want I think to he ask is. me about crazy kid. A haunted hotel. Yes. That's a trope for a reason. That's a trope for a reason. Is a story trope. No. Uh, yeah, you're. Uh, what you're saying is accurate. So it's like we're inside a story and Alan can alter it. Yeah, so we're in the dark place, which is a manifestation or an alternate reality uh, that's... They never say for sure, but the implication is that it's created, it, it's always existed, but it's a place where the dark presence has a, a hold over it <clears throat> and changes it and alters it and is kind of like, I guess, like the ruler or controller of it, right? But Alan is almost like, we've talked about this before, it's kind of unclear, Alan's almost like an SCP, right? Like, in the Alan Wake universe, they're called altered world events or things or objects that, like, can have like some sort of like scp like quality but yeah alan can change reality with his writing but he's also like the dark presence is affecting him and afflicting him so that he's like going mad's not the right word but he's like he has trouble remembering things he doesn't always do what he's intending to do because things are like fuzzy for him so he's like trying to fight back against the dark presence and alter things to his benefit but it doesn't always turn out the way he wants right it's it's like uh he's it's like he's playing a very deadly game with the dark presence and they keep kind of trading blows but yeah that's exactly what's happening um all right i gotta un -pre show ritual this so i can get to the other side or just haunt it yeah, there we go. What does that change here? Oh, shit. Oh, God. I don't like this, dude. Okay. Some fucking cult shit right here. Hey, Soothe the Roads. I'm good to hear. I'm glad to hear things are back on track, dude. And uh, thanks for rejoining. I totally understand, man. You gotta, you gotta adult and take care of life and do what you need to do, dude. So I will be here for the foreseeable future for whenever, uh, whenever you guys are available. Sue the road said, Skilly, teach us to scream properly. I don't know how to scream properly. I never, I never trained. <laughs> so that's why I said I'm probably doing damage to my vocal cords because I don't know what the hell I'm doing screaming. Plus, if it's a scared scream, it's not intentional. It's just me actually being scared. It, it, the only time I intentionally scream is when I'm like, well, and then too, also, it's just me. Like I'm a naturally kind of loud person. Like when I get really excited about doing well or beating a boss or something, that's me intentionally doing it. But at the same time, like I kind of used to do that stuff even when I wasn't streaming. Like <laughs> my wife would tell me all the time, like, stop talking to the TV. <laughs> 
so <laughs> that's just who I am. I'm weird. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. Alan Wake is. I, I would. I definitely say there's like ever since Control, the Control game came into the Alan Wake universe too. I definitely feel like there's undercurrents or vibes of SCP stuff, but it's not like a straight rip. They have definitely forged their own path and like really, really made it like their own thing. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah. All right, we're going to 202, right? Which I think is this way now. Or I hope is this way. That is 202 and it is now open for rehearsals. Josh said you'd love to have Alan's power. Yeah, it would be great to have Alan's power, but not to have his problems, right? <laughs> hey, what's up, Nicole? Thanks for joining. Nicole LeDuc, I'm, I apologize if I'm butchering your last name. Kind of seems like Stranger Things in the Upside Down. Yeah, there's some there's some elements too. Although the first Alan Wake game had a similar similar stuff. You didn't have the the flipping mechanic or the like changing reality mechanic you did i mean alan did that in the first game but it wasn't like a gameplay mechanic and alan wake the first game came out well before stranger things but yeah it is it is like that what am i supposed am i supposed to do oh i can do haunted in the other places so i could go do it in the ballroom okay okay i'm picking up with i'm i, I got it i got it so we definitely want to go anywhere on the first floor that we want to do that. We want to do it or in the second floor. We want to do it in the ballroom, right? For sure. All right, let's go. Thanks for subscribing, Nicole, by the way. I appreciate it. Welcome. You laughed at me being the loudest parent cheering for my kids. <laughs> I definitely, I definitely am going to do that. I'm going to embarrass the shit out of my kids. All right, I can do it right here, right? I can change it to Haunted instead of Pre-Show Ritual. Shit, dude. Oh, no. Flare gun time. It's getting real, all right. I almost dreaded the ideas this would conjure up. Okay. I recognized my writer's room on the stage. What was the nice set you got right. here? What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him. And he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Scratch, it's Scratch. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let scratch. Me guess. Alan Wake. I mean, it looks I like Helen. Tell you, but turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was, shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. That's Scratch fucking creepy. Is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. <clears throat> I have a new plot element. Okay, follow the devil's trail. Which is essentially Mr. Scratch. Are we going to confront Mr. Scratch? That'd be dope. Mr. Scratch is an alternate evil version of Alan, for those who don't know. Oh, shit, dude. Fuck! Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Back the fuck up. Oh, my God. There are so many. All right. All right. Oh, oh shit. What was that, dude? All right. Protect the stage. All right, we got rid of him. I'm not trying to use all my flare gun ammo. You know what? Fuck it. We still have quite a bit. No, I could just I could just do this. All right. If I didn't have that flare gun ammo, that would have been much much spicier right there. A lot spicier. All right. I still hear stuff out there. There's also an arrow that's pointing up right under the bar here, which tells. Headshot, baby. Get the fuck back, dude. So 
starting to run a little low on ammo though. Word of power. How do I do this again? You gotta look at it just right. Word of power, word of stuff. <laughs> I love the words of power are how you upgrade stuff for those who aren't familiar. Frank Mack, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Asked, what's my favorite game I've played so far? Oh man. I have trouble with a favorite, like picking one favorite of anything. I've done almost 300, between live streams and edited videos in the past two and a half years of creating content, I've made almost 300 videos. I think we're like three videos away from 300 videos. I've played a lot of games um, for the channel. But favorite thing I've played for the channel, I don't know, Dave the Diver's up there. We just finished that. Dave the Diver, amazing game, by the way. Sorry, I had to scratch my shoulder. Dave the Diver's up there. From a horror perspective, Resident Evil 4 Remake is probably up there. I really enjoyed SCP Containment Breach. SCP Containment Breach is really good. Um, what else? I don't know. You, I know you asked for one and I'm giving you like five. But yeah, Dave the Diver, SCP Containment Breach. Um, I think Dave the Diver is like the perfect stream game. Um, what else? Man, I've played a lot of good horror stuff. Um, the Evil Within. I really like The Evil Within, too, when we played that, which we still need to do number two. We still need to do the second one for stream at some point. But yeah, The Last of Us is one of my favorite games of all time. So The Last of Us 1 and 2 streams were big favorites of mine. Um, the Last of Us, the first game, is in is probably like my third favorite game of all time. So... Definitely that's up there. Slenderman was good. I think I missed the boat on that craze a little bit. Don't get me wrong. I liked it. If I think a game is complete shit or hate it, I and I have recorded it, I'm not going to keep playing it or I'm not going to put the video out. So if I put the video out, I like the game. But uh, I wouldn't put Slenderman up there uh, as, a, as like out of everything I've done a favorite. But it's good. I like it. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Booga Sugar 687 thanks for stopping by the stream and uh, showing some love in chat. I appreciate it. Thank you. Don't Scream is good. Don't Scream to me is like a gimmick game, right? Like, I love it's a very unique idea. The implementation and everything, it was done very well, but it's just a one note game. So I wouldn't say it's a favorite. But yeah, Don't Scream. But yeah, I've not played Grave Watcher. So yeah. Dredge. Dredge was another favorite, definitely. Dredge was really, really good. Dredge is really, really good. If you're asking, like, in general, my favorite games of all time, oh my god, there's... I have trouble narrowing that list out, too. It depends on the mood I'm in, too, but I, I, some, I'll just list off real quick, like, some of my favorite games of uh, ever. Uh, I would say um, Final Fantasy VII um ocarina of time you know legend of zelda ocarina of time halo 3 is a really big and important game for me i made lasting lifetime friendships because of the halo franchise uh a great example like igp and i became friends in high school not because of halo 3 but because of halo we became friends like we met because we had mutual friends who decided to have a, a original halo land party in game and so I met, I, I can essentially say I met IGP because of Halo. So, and through mutual friends. So Halo is really, but Halo 3 was a big deal for me growing up. So I have a lot of nostalgia for that. Um, Tears of the Kingdom and uh, uh, fuck Breath of the Wilds are high up there. The Last of Us, the first one. I like The Last of Us, the second one. It just doesn't recapture the exact same magic as the, as the first game. To me um what else mario odyssey is really good i really like that super mario rpg um the original resident evil 4 those are some of my like favorite games of all time so there's more in there too i didn't play half-life 2 i never played any of the half-life games believe it or not so i missed one halo 2 was your first online game yeah Halo 2 wasn't my first online game. I played some StarCraft. StarCraft is probably up there for me. Diablo 3. I like Diablo 3 a lot. Yeah. Have I played or seen In Sound Mine? I have seen In Sound Mine. I saw the videos that IGP and IC did on it. So. But yeah. 
All right. Uh, I got an upgrade. I got a word of power. So I can ma mark all nearby resources and points of interest on waste map. I can expand my inventory by one or I can add a charge to the flashlight. Inventory has become a problem for me. So I'm going to do magic pocket. But I'm going to tell you between magic pocket and battery, both of those are really good. So that's a that, that's a tough one, but I want I want an additional inventory slot because I'm having some I'm having some inventory woes currently. So, all right, we're in the ballroom. We're currently on haunted. We've did rehearsal room haunted. We need to go to these two places on the first floor and do haunted and see what happens. I have played Kingdom Hearts and Fable. I uh, didn't play Fable two or three really. I played like maybe a few hours of each. Fable never caught on for me that much. I liked the original Fable. I played it to completion. I enjoyed it. Um, I think it, I, I would go as far as to say I think I it's a good game, but it was never like, I don't know. There was something about it that just didn't, didn't like fully like capture me. And I don't know. I don't know why that is. I, I wish I could. And uh, what was the other one that you said? um kingdom hearts i have played kingdom hearts i've played kingdom hearts one and three and i know that's like sacrilege because the story is so convoluted and like you need to play you kind of need to play them in certain order and stuff to really fully understand everything but yeah all right i need to go to room i need to go to the 224 right to get back downstairs 225 that's what it was all right what do i have in storage again i have flashbangs should i take I can take out one set of flashbangs. All right. So that I have flashbangs on me as well. All right. And then we'll quick save again and manual save. Mario Party 3 for Nintendo 64 is probably one of my favorites of all time. Mario Kart. Um, Mario Kart Double Dash is really good and Mario Kart 8 is really good. I've played a lot of Mario Kart in my life. All right, this gets us back to the first floor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we just need to go to the two scene spots and see what this changes for us. Road Runners, yeah. It, Snow Runner and, and uh, Mud Runner, yeah. Us playing both of those. Those are fun games. Those are just fun, silly games. I also have the devil. I should have did that back upstairs. Ooh. The scene changed with the story. Any keys here now? Negative. All right. Anything else around here? Bad people are here, man. Dracai said Double Dash is your favorite. Double Dash is slept on, dude. Double Dash is great. I feel like Double Dash doesn't get the credit that it deserves as a Mario Kart game because it is probably the best Mario. Listen, most of the Mario Kart, not all of them. Most of them are pretty good, but Double Dash is just like, it's insane. It's fantastic. All right, what happens if I change it here as well? To Haunted. I can start to walk forward a little, but not all the way. I feel like I need to get to room 108. Okay. All right, hold on. Would we play, would we play Snow Runner again? Uh, in Mud Runner, yeah, I think we definitely would. We've talked about doing more of it, absolutely. And uh, there's a new, what is it called? I'm gonna forget what it's called. There's a, I think it's called Expeditions. There is a new game from the same dev who did Mud Runner and Snow Runner in it's the same type of game. I think it's called Expeditions, a uh, Mud Runner game or something. <clears throat> um, it's coming out this year. I think it's coming out in March. But yeah, absolutely, I would absolutely play more of that. And I, I, I think there's, I have a high degree of confidence that we will put more snow runner or mud runner or that type of game. We will put more videos out on, on that eventually. So what happens if I change, I'm going to change it to the devil right here. 
see what that changes uh welcome to the stream by the way david cookson dijon and uh paulo good to see you paulo thanks for joining i hope all three of you guys are doing good though appreciate it yep there's a dead person all right hold on <laughs> i want to use the devil scene i should have used it whoa the devil walked through the hotel dragging the whole place to hell with him so scratch killed everybody in the devil scene the devil scene is the final one we need i want to do the devil scene out here real quick there's gonna be a shit ton of dead bodies by the way this is scratch's calling card you see the like black swirls the black and white paint and swirls everywhere that is like pure scratch calling card right there in the alan wake games so it's the devil's path up the staircase was draped in blood oh we can now go on the staircase holy shit god damn dude everybody's dead here we have some supplies we have a battery let's look at our map though real quick has this opened up anything for us we can get that echo finally there's also pain pills over here. I should run and go get those pain pills in 101 real quick. Oh yeah, let's do that. Because I could actually use those pain pills to top up health a little bit before whatever the fuck is going to happen. Excuse me? Okay. Oh my god. Where'd that guy go? Anybody see where that guy went? Shit, dude. Oh. Oh, he just fucked my shit up, dude. All right, bro. Back the fuck off. Damn, I need to go to room 101, but I feel like that's going to spawn more of these bitches. I also need a med kit now. <laughs> I need more. <laughs> I need way more than these fuck, than fucking pain pills. I need a med kit. <laughs> God damn it. What is the scariest game I have played so far ever in my uh, Resident Evil 7 for sure? That game, especially the parts where you're in the, before you leave the house proper, the 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 Bayou house proper for the family, that game is fucking horrifying. And there's a VR version that I would love to try at some point, but I don't know. I don't think I could do it, dude. I like being uh, like legitimately honest. I think that I think the VR version would cause me to quit. I have heard other people say that they have tried playing the VR version and it is just like shit your pants terrifying. It's horrible. <laughs> so. I have not played Ghosts of uh, Tsushima. I played a couple of hours, but then I never got back to it. I didn't do it for content either. That's a game I would like to play. It's on my backlog list. I don't like the sounds, dude. Is this... This is red paint, right? There's no way they covered this entire hallway in blood. Where's the echo, by the way? The echo is supposed to be in the stairwell, right? I'm, like, right on top of it, supposedly. I don't, I don't see it, though. Might be from the top floor that you can see it. Very creepy. I felt the presence of a new idea here. Here we go. Mr. Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception who got me a room number. Hmm. Six six six. Oh yeah, the he number of the devil. <laughs> specifically, the devil had a sense of humor, or he really didn't. It was funny either way. <clears throat> According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out 
for the play, and always in character. Ever have that time when a non-horror game becomes a horror game? Yeah, I, uh, I've gotten jump scared a ton of times in games that are nowhere near horror. I've even been, I've got jump scared of Dave the Diver, dude. <laughs> the Gaddian? That big skeletal undead mermaid, merfolk, uh, king creature guy when he burst through the wall and Dave the Diver? That scared the ever-living shit out of me. That was on live stream with you guys. I, they, I did not have that on my bingo card for Dave the Diver and I did not expect it. But yeah, I've been scared all the time. Hey, what's up, Midge? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. You just got here. Did we take illicit substances? Uh, no, but Alan is, is being fucked with big time. All right. On the map. Oh, this just says Rube 666. Okay, sure. Do we have a new... Hold on. I have a new idea here. Devil hunted pre-show ritual. Okay. I did not do the devil in the ballroom though. I did the devil everywhere except the rehearsal room in the ballroom. I probably should have did it there. It's okay though. Let's keep going. All right. Where's 666 is that way. So that's where we're supposed to go. But I'm going to go this way first. See if there's any anything down here for us. Before we go meet Mr. Scratch, aka the devil. Sooth Road said, dude, I've been scared from SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. I'm easily startled. I, my wife accidentally like walks up behind me or like surprises me all the time too. So. All right. Do I really not have a map? It just, just this area says room six. Okay. I don't have a map. Oh, oh my God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen corpses. That's about right. We are playing on Saturday the thirteenth. <laughs> this place is cut. This place is covered in blood, dude. Holy shit! Can I open that? No. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything before we go in there, dude. I love Courage the Cowardly Dog. That was a fantastic show. I can't wait till my kids are a little bit older and I can, I can like watch that with them. Go back and show up good shows like that. I'm gonna take out the flare gun, I think. Okay. Mr. Scratch is gonna be- Mr. Scratch had been here. Fuck! I could sense his presence lingering in the room. Fuck, I forgot about this. I was about to have another killer idea. Okay. Another echo. Talk about the okay. Let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Oh, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame for sure. The lady, Alice, my wife? Kept insisting she had seen the long lost original script of the play. Who's the lady? She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. That was her role in the play. The muse. They have to be she talking about Alice. In room 108, where the murder happened. The, the set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene, executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him meeting his muse. It turns out he knew her. He'd only joined the play to get to her. Yeah, it's Alice, because Mr. Scratch is after her. Why not? Oh, oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. That's the dark presence. Slam, slash, Mr. Scratch. Run, 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 run. run. Oh shit, I'm fucked, dude. I'm so screwed. Get the fuck out of here! It's so loud, dude! No, I'm dead! No, no! I died. Did I die? I died. <laughs> Damn it. 
Where was I supposed to go, dude? Oh no, do I pick up from my last save or do I pick up from right here? Okay, I'll pick up from here. Oh my god, dude. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go this way this time. Cause that didn't the other way didn't work last time. The other way didn't work! Shit. Okay, okay, okay. Keep going, baby. Keep going. Go, Alan, run! Oh, uh, I can't go that way. I gotta go back this way. I gotta go back this way. That last time I ran into him like that, he killed me. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, there's a lot of people here, bro. Just run, Alan. Just run. Get the fuck out, brother. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't fight this. How do you fight this? You can't fight this. I have to reach light at the end. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. Yes. The dark presence had come for me. Drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. God damn, dude. Okay. What's in my shoebox? All right, I'm good. I'm alive. That's what's important. <clears throat> well, that was the first death. <laughs> Open my knees and run. <laughs> I never finished that game. Should we go back and finish Fatal Frame Mask of the Lunar Eclipse? We probably should, shouldn't we? I like that game. I don't know what happened. And I just kind of I just kind of moved on to other stuff. Hey, what's up, Sentient? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Hope you're doing good, man. The muse was the murder victim. The final scene took place in room 108. Room 108. All right. Oh. I could do though, I could switch. Okay, we already did devil here. I didn't do devil on the second floor in those two rooms, which I should probably go do just to see if it like unlocks any items or anything, right? So I wanna go back upstairs. To do that though, can I go from, can I still go from 104? All right, yeah, let's do that. Let's go from 104. All right. I don't think I have to change back this scene right here, but we'll try. Fuck you. Fuck you, bitches. Bye. Bye. All right. Go back through here. Go back through here. All right. I need my map again because I'm terrible at navigating this fucking shit. Um, all right, we need to go 202 is going to be the first door on the right down here and then all the way to the ballroom. Okay, I got this. First door on the right after we pass this. Right? Oh, we still haven't unlocked Tim. It could not be opened on this side. That's 206. There's doors we still haven't unlocked. That's right. Where's 202? Back here? Yeah, there's 202. All right. Change this scene to the devil and see what happens. Rehearsal room. Oh, I also have the climax now as well. I got to do that in all the places. The story was affecting the scene. All right. So we have all the dead people here. We have... This was not the ritual murder site I was looking for. This oh. had just been an appetizer before the main course. Okay, but this gives us more of the story. The lights are all fucking broken too. All right, let's change it to climax then. Does it actually do anything? Now the bodies are gone. It's like the police have been here because there's like evidence tags and everything everywhere. Thanks for subscribing to the channel, Andy. I appreciate it. Glad to have you. Did Alan not say anything when I did that? No. Climax in the rehearsal room. Okay, and that hasn't opened anything. All right, we'll go to the ballroom next to do both of those. But the ballroom, I need to leave this room and turn left and go all the way down. Okay. We still haven't. How do you find the keys? Maybe if I'm downstairs and I use the climax, maybe the keys are behind the uh, counter. Perchance, perhaps. We'll see. 
why would they perform this kind of play to begin with? I don't know. They're a cult. I don't know. We don't have those. We don't have those answers yet. It's a good question. Most likely they were being influenced by the dark presence though. Okay. <clears throat> Did I get rid of everybody? All right. Let's go up here and change it to devil and then change it to haunted or uh, climax. We've not done devil here. Excuse me. This was something out of a horror story, but I had to keep going. I get a manuscript page here. Hey guys, hold this for me. Oh, dude, I fucked up. Fuck, dude. Fuck, fuck, fuck. All right, I'm running out of stuff. There's something here. Writing. This is scratch mocking me. In this room, he will hurt her. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. So this is where he, like, to climax. Can't set down anymore. Is there anything in here for me now? Oh my god, dude. There's so many. There you go. Hold that for me, guys. Thanks. Get the fuck out of here. While well, I still can. <clears throat> Does my map tell me that there's... Okay, no, no. I need to go pick up my uh, other two... I got my shoebox, though. I need my other two flashbangs. Now that I just moved those. God, those guys sound so fucking creepy, dude. All right, quick save. <laughs> we all, the chat always finds its way back to food. It does. It does, and I love it. All right, we've done climax there. Climax there. We need to go back downstairs and do climax at the final scene and climax at the entrance hall. I think. All right. We need to get away from these fucks though. Wait, wait, wait. I can't get out of here. Hold on. I got to change the scene, don't I? Um, I got to change it back to devil. Fuck. Can I get out with devil? I can. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. And there are no rooms I can go into. Everything's locked. There's pills over there. I could go pick those up. Painkillers. I could probably use those. There's a light source right there too. And then... Okay, did I do the rehearsal room? I did do the rehearsal room. Okay, we need to back downstairs. For sure. Fuck you guys. Where are the pills? Find the pills, dude. Find the pills. Pills are in here somewhere. They're in here. Where are they in my inventory? Use them. No, I don't need them. I thought I had a health issue. I don't have a health issue. All right. No, nope, I'm going back downstairs. Y'all leave me alone. No more fucky wucky. No more. This is the rehearsal room. It's this door I need to go in to get out of here. No, leave me. Leave me. Get away from me. Stop it. No, this is the rehearsal room? Am I in the right place? Is this the bathroom? How the fuck do I get out of here? No, this isn't it. All right, hold on. Oh, no, it's across the hall. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. This way, this way, this way. 225, that's right. I went in the wrong goddamn room. All right, I don't need to save again, not yet. Famous last words, right? Oh. Fuck. All right, we need to go to entrance hall. All right. We need to change this to climax. I'm gonna do it back here. Good shit. 
my writing was affecting reality. another echo keys keys no keys oh oh no all right hold on how come this echo isn't popping why can't i get it to are you guys fucking with it freaking gumshoe dick asking too many it's nypd not letting us proper police take care of it this is our chance to make the powers that be happy really set for life part of the inner circle well amen to that partner i like it and so will the paternity the club the word our dear friends are they in on it names. the way i see it it was a lone nut job Junkie out of his mind on some fancy new design drug. <laughs> Open and shut case. All we gotta do now is dump the evidence from room 108. That's fucked up. They're covering it up. In the alley. Usual place in the alley, huh? As they're just gonna get rid of it all. All right. I can't use that way to go upstairs. We gotta go to room 108. But there's also. <clears throat> Where was the other place down here? The final scene area we have to use. The climb room 108 is back there. That's what it is. That's right. All right. We're gonna step right here. We're gonna use climax, and then we should be able to get into room 108. <coughs> you gotta plug in for a bit. Hey, no worries, Misty. Totally understand. Why is there water? No, 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 no. Don't bring water into this. This makes this so much worse, dude. What the fuck is happening, man? Beware the drowned lady? What? We're in a hotel. I can't swim. I hate water. Get this shit away from me. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, no. I don't have a map for this, do I? No. Oh, it says I'm over here. The murder site's at the end. I see. Okay. I'm not ready for this. No, water in a horror game is a very bad sign. Very bad. I hear a radio. Question is, is it in that room back there? Or is it somewhere here? Because uh, radio shows and songs are collectibles for the game. I think it's I think it's back here. Yeah, it's in here. All right, fuck it, dude. I don't like this. There's a TV, but it's not on. Lost on the shore between forest and ocean, the owl and the deer reflected motion in his room. Oh, everything says something different. Holy shit. Lost on the shore between the forest and the ocean, the owl and the deer reflected in motion. In his room, he will hurt her. In hers, he is caught. Okay, so we need to be in her room to catch him. His story ends. Her story does not. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. All right, this is important. We got to, like, act out the ritual. Between the forest and the ocean, the owl and the deer. This is like what we were doing with Saga. Mm. All right. I don't like. I, I don't like how the the ambience changed. This was the murder site. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub, beneath the body. Oh. Somehow it was important. So I gotta get. The, oh, dude. No, no, I know this is, I know this is going to be a jump scare. All right, there are two possible options here, right? I reach in to grab the record and there's a jump scare. And even though I know it's coming, it's probably going to get me. Or they're anticipate, they're going to re, they're going to misdirect, right? They're anticipating that you think it's a jump scare and it's not going to be a jump scare, but there's going to be a jump scare soon afterwards with something you're not expecting. Oh my God. I know it's coming. 
It's not going to scare me. I'm, it's not. I got this. She's gone. Okay. Another step. Somehow I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's you again. That's Saga. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wake. Oh, I'm right. still trapped. Yeah, the clicker. We can figure the limits. You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write you don't know the story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. It's a story. You can do that. You can write out. It lasted only for a moment, like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper, closer to escape. Somehow, I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of return. That's the end of a chapter, baby. That was a long chapter, too, I felt like. I never opened the room with Tim, though. I never figured out where that key was. All right, these songs are important. Remember, they, they tie into the story. The lyrics are slightly different every time, right? So I like listening to these. It's talking about looping. So just to make sure we're all on the same page, what happened there is like Saga is still in the quote unquote real world, right? Alan is in the twisted reality that the dark presence is essentially controlling. And they somehow were communicating between realities. They were like, he was talking about two planets, two planets passing each other, right? Like they were somehow they were overlapping for a minute there and communicating with each other and that's happened a couple times before playing pretend talking about the play uh, Cynthia, you asked how far we were. I looked up before stream. I've got 10 chapters or parts left. That was including this one, which we finished. So now there's nine. I don't know how long all those chapters are, but it looked like we we're a little over halfway through the game. So I think I've got like three or four more streams probably. Because I've been doing about two chapters per stream or two and a half, roughly. No, that chapter's over. Game's not over. Is the song gonna keep looping here? <laughs> I think the song was gonna keep looping. <laughs> All right, we got to exit the hotel and find Dallas. We know how to get out of here, though. Uh, Swego, a.k.a. Jose, or I should say Josue, a.k.a. Swego. Thank you for the five gifted channel memberships, dude. I really appreciate it. And those went to lesser known name. Um, Astro Kid, Haley Payton, Blue Sonnet, and somebody else that I'm missing, I think. And, and Keith. All became channel members on behalf of Swagos. Hey, thanks so much, dude. You're a legend, a rock star. Appreciate it. All right. Oh, but we're still here. So we could still, we could still open. 
We also have the opportunity to come back. Places typically aren't closed off. Um, so I could still open those doors potentially. Can I change the scene right here now that I'm in here though? That's what I'm wondering. Like if I go here, cause we, we had to have the climax to be able to get into this room. No, I can't cause it's not counted. Just wondering if I could change it and like potentially unlock stuff, but nah. Are there, is my map showing me? No, there's no items here. All right, let's just go back out then. Oh, that's the radio, but it wasn't a collectible. All right, we know where the front door is. It's on the first floor, right by the little office or check-in counter. You just go out it right there. So that's pretty easy to get to. So I shouldn't have a problem doing that. Question is, if I look at my map real quick, do I want to spend time trying to figure out how to get into these locked rooms? And then we might be back here. Ocean View Hotel is important. So I think we'll probably be back here. At some point, I did alternate realities and use every single plot point at each place. So I have the Devil, Haunted, Pre-Show, Ritual, and Climax. I use those at every one. So I think we might just move forward here. Before I do that, though, I'm just going to scan the map again one more time. We had 206 and 209 are locked. 206, I believe, is where Tim is. We don't have any locked doors on the first floor. Uh, it's hard to say how I would get into those rooms, you know? Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna move forward. Hey, buddy. Fuck you. Get out of my way, bitch. Not putting up with you. All right. This is the exit right here, by the way. Wait, what's on the ground? Oh, let's just close the door. Never mind. Astro Kid, thanks for um oh. No, that's the channel membership. Never mind. That you got gifted. I was like, oh, somebody else subscribed. Alright, all that we gotta go to Parliament Tower. Parliament Tower was here again. Zane said the man straight ahead return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. Has anything changed out here? Is there anything for me to get? There's an echo back here. Okay. We will do that. The Ocean View Hotel still has a, uh, has a thing on it. Hold on. Echo right here. All right. How do we line this echo up? Back this way. Right? No. Oh, the black part's right here. So maybe we do it this way. Sometimes these are a bitch to line up, dude. How is this one not popping for me? What the fuck? There we go. I chosen to pursue the cult, or had they chosen me for some unknowable purpose? To be a demon, to sort the clues based on my interpretation, to change that which I observed. It was all a play. Shadows on the wall of the cave. An echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? No Their one knows, man. Set up for someone else. All right. It also looked like... Anything else out here? It looks like there's a question mark over here. I don't know if that's in the alley or... Let's go. It's this way, right? Let me make sure I'm turning the right way. I am. That might be in the crosswalk area from the... But let's go down here and see. It says there's something question marky over here. Uh, I appreciate that, Swago. Uh, yeah, everything helps out, dude. Uh, just watching, commenting, liking, chatting in chat. Uh, gifted member anything help everything and anything that you do to interact with my channel channel wise it's very much appreciated helps out and uh yeah donations and giving money and stuff never required but very much appreciated but yeah everything helps 
All right, guys. What's up, guys? Shit, shit. Back the fuck up. All right, am I at the thing yet? Oh, I passed it. Holy shit, did I pass it. Oh, it's right here. Okay. It says, look, oh, it's a word of power. I'm so glad I came over here, dude. Yes. Word of power for aid. All right. Increase effectiveness of trauma pads. Increase hand flares area of effect by 13% and duration by one. Increase effect of painkillers. <clears throat> Man, I went hard on the healing, didn't I? I think I'm going to do the healing all the way. 30% effectiveness increase for trauma pads now. All right. What else do we have? Anything else we missed over here? It says there's something... I, I actually... I, I see where this is. There's something underneath the hotel. Or in this little alleyway, right? Oh, it's dark as fuck in here, though. I don't like that. I'm taking out my flare gun. Fuck this, dude. <clears throat> Pisha, I hope I'm saying that right. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Nicholas N, welcome. Thanks for joining. I'm playing Alan Wake 2. Arrow, what's up, dude? Good to see you, man. AKA Leo V Gaming, for those that are wondering. Arrow's the guy I've been playing Lords of the Fallen with. We did Lords of the Fallen last night. Go check his channel out. What's in here? It says on my map, there's something there. It's back. It's back behind me, though. Is it in the trash can? Is it in the dumpster? Do I got to go dumpster diving right here? Hey, it's supplies, which I will never turn down. Hant flare gun ammo, too. God damn. Is that it? Is that what it was? That is what it was. All right. I see a question mark over here in the alleyway, too. Should we bother going to check that out? Yeah, we should. Otherwise, everything else here is cleaned up. Let's, okay. We gotta go down the street, gotta go to the alleyway, gotta check, we'll check this one thing over here. That's all we're doing, and then, and then we'll continue to the Parliament Tower. Billy Moore, what's up? Welcome. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Dark corridors in horror games, no thanks. Yeah, I know. They've been, there's been some fucked up corridors in Alan Wake. That one was not bad. That was a bit of a fake out on their part, but they've done that a lot. They do a good job of subverting your expectations sometimes with scares and stuff in this game. Mr. Chainsaw, what's up? Welcome. Thanks for joining. All right. Is that the alleyway I need to go into to check out that question mark? It is. This was, we did a lot in this alleyway in this last chapter before doing Ocean View Hotel. I don't want to spend a ton of time here. I just want to see if we can get whatever collectible or whatever item is. Excuse me. Over here. That looks fucked up. All right. Where are we? There's a green light right there. And that, wouldn't you know? Speak of the devil, the green light. Hmm. Stop it. I don't like the cans. All right. If I change, I know there's a light source down here. If I change that, does it change? Change reality back there so that I can get whatever it is. We've already did those yellow, those things. All right. Let's back it up. Do we now have access to whatever the collectible is here? It doesn't look like it. This green light makes me feel like there's something here. Oh, I must be on the roof up there. Shit. Shite, dude. All right, hold on. I don't think I want to go back through that fucking rooftop maze because that, that was hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to go take... Whoa fucking cult. I'm just gonna go take my light back. We're getting the fuck out of here. Fuck it. You wouldn't underestimate the will of someone who's willing to pay with blood? Neither would I. Neither would I. Hey, no worries, Nicholas. I totally understand wanting to play for yourself, dude. 
Appreciate you stopping by though and dropping uh, some support in chat. Thank you. How long do I plan on going tonight? Probably till about 1, 1 30. I never set like a hard, hard time. I, I don't want to go super late because I went really late last night and I am a little bit under the weather. Um, and I promised my wife I would, I would not stay up super late, take care of myself. <laughs> so, but you know, it just depends on what we get. Like when one o'clock hits or one thirty hits, it depends on where we're at in game. Like I like to try to find a nice natural stopping point, but somewhere in there. I was planning on like a four hour stream. So we're two hours and 48 minutes in four, four and a half hours. Something like that. <clears throat> Have I ever played RuneScape? I have not. I've heard of RuneScape, no, though, and seen a lot about it, but no, I have not played it. All right, we're heading to Parliament Tower. We're just straight ahead, right? Should just go ahead and pop in here and do a quick save since we're here. All right, because we have no idea what's waiting in par Parliament Tower right away. Oh, yeah, everybody make sure you're on live. If you go up to the top of chat, you should see something that either says live chat or chop or top of chop of chat, chop of chat. You should see something that says top of chat or live chat. If you click the little arrow besides that, make sure you click that arrow and you hit live chat because otherwise top of chat is some weird YouTube feature where they curate like messages that they think are important to you and you don't see every message in chat. I don't know why anybody would want that. Um, but yeah, make sure you're on live chat so you can see everything that everybody is saying. Hey, what's up, Lily? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. All right. One elevator opens for me. Okay. All right. Uh, this tower is where Alan Wake and his wife, Alice, had an apartment together, if you remember. There was an earlier Alan chapter in the game where we came here and we went to his apartment. And we kind of found out that him and Alice were having marital problems, right? Go to hell! Was that Alice yelling at me to go to hell? This is our apartment. This is Alan and Alice's apartment, or part of it. This is like her little studio. All right. <clears throat> We're on uh, the next chapter, Initiation 6, called Return. Holy shit. <laughs> Lily, did I say hi? Lily, welcome. Good to have you. Uh, Cody Williams, welcome. Good to have you. I had water in my mouth. It's a good thing I was able to hold back screaming right there. Uh, <laughs> dude. I didn't expect to immediately be assaulted as soon as we opened the fucking door. Why is there a water hose? Is that what that is? The dark place. Before we go to the obviously red creepy room that we're supposed to go in, we're going to check out the rest of the apartment. I needed to get inside the manuscript. We're not going to go to the obvious place right away. Why is there duct tape right there? <laughs> Chilling in the kitchen. What are you? What are we doing over here? There's something right there. Oh, computer. All right, let's read all of these. <clears throat> Greetings from Hollywood. Uh, from Barry Wheeler to Alice Wake. Hey, Alice. I'm more a fish out of water in Hollywood than I ever was in the Pacific Northwest wilderness. These yuppies with their glow-in-the-dark teeth couldn't be more fake if they had six fingers. <laughs> and everything is so fucking great all the time, even when it's, in fact, the opposite. More than once, I've thrown up in my mouth during meetings with these movie exec jerks. But I got to be here to look after Al's legacy. Everyone wants to gobble up the film rights for the Casey's book, Casey books. And they have moronic ideas of what to do with them. It's my duty to herd this horde of tan zombies into the general direction of something resembling good taste. I'm painfully aware how deeply Al would have hated adaptations if they didn't do justice to his vision. He was a master of hating things deeply for good reasons. I mean, that's why we loved him so much, right? Anyway, got to hop on another video call now to talk about casting. Your pal Barry. So Barry Wheeler is Alan Wake's agent, right? Alan Wake was a writer, wrote a lot of books that became very popular. He had a lot of interest for movies and TV shows, right? This is Barry writing to Alice, Alan's wife. And at this point in time, two years ago, if you remember at the beginning between Alan Wake, the first game and the second one, 
Alan disappeared, right? At the end of the original Alan Wake, he went into another reality. He went into the lake. That is, it's not a lake, it's an ocean, if you remember the end of that game. Um, he switched places with Alice, basically, right? Or that's what he thought he was doing. And uh, he was he had, he had was gone. He had disappeared. So Barry Wheeler is talking about protecting Alan's legacy here. And, uh, like, he's working with uh, Alice, his... I guess they believed Alan to be dead, right? So, uh, Alan's widow or what they, you know. <clears throat> joined a cult uh, from Barry Wheeler. Hey, Alice, you're going to think I've been replaced by an evil double, but I've joined a cult and I love it. Joking about it being a cult kind of blessed wellness retreat. Working with Al or the Andersons was tough sometimes, but these movie biz types are insane. Wait, the Andersons? The Ander Saga Anderson? What? Um, my stress levels were through the roof, but then I was tipped off about the retreat, the best decision I ever made. I've never felt this good and well healthy. The guy who runs this place, Chester, is a goddamn miracle worker, not a wacko in any way. I know you think I'm full of shit, but I have lost a ton of weight. You wouldn't recognize me. Chester says I'm lucky to have ended up here. That something bad would have happened to me if I'd stayed in New York. I believe him. I wasn't feeling great after everything that happened, especially after those FBC creepos wanted to chat with me enough to turn anyone into a conspiracy nut i hope you are good over there come visit me anytime west coast is not as bad as i made it sound in my earlier emails your pal barry fbc federal bureau of control right so the game control that's in the alan wake universe that's where the fbc comes from lily said what are my theories about this um about the game so far dude we could spend we've talked about it some like last stream and the stream before we talked some but so far i think alan is you, you know like an scp or like an altered world event right like he has powers and i think saga does too because she's able to somehow communicate between dimensions with alan occasionally right and she doesn't remember stuff um and so i think they are essentially like you know like in control and in the control game there are objects or items or people that have like some weird, almost like an SCP, right? Some weird ability or, or they do something strange or there's like alternate realities or stuff. So I think Alan falls into that would be my theory. And then I don't know how the dark presence fits into that. I don't know if the dark presence is like also one of those things or if it's just like evil manifest and it's fucking with Alan and causing all this? I don't know. It's hard to tell. I, I'm going to be really interested to see where this game ends up. Checking in. Barry Wheeler. Wheeler. Hey, Alice. Checking in because I haven't heard from you. Everything good back there? I've been trapped in nonstop meetings with no breaks. Open kimono. I have considered peeing in a mug and lunches be damned. How these people ever get a movie made when all they do is sit in meetings is beyond me. I'll handle it. Hey, Alice. Sharks circling. They now want to turn what happened to Al into a movie or a TV show and or get this a fucking video game. I told them to fuck off. Also, in case you hear about this from someone else, a true crime writer named Tammy Booker is working on a book about Al. I hunted down her publisher and told them we'll sue. Don't worry. I've got you covered. Your pal, Barry. Uh, Barry actually is a an NPC. He's a character in the first game that you actually see and he's in cutscenes and he has like a part in it. So... Um, how is everything? Hey, Alice, everything good with you back home? Just checking in. Tried to call, but couldn't reach you. You are probably just deep in your creative process. I know how you artists get when you're in the middle of your projects. Everything else disappears. If you call back and can't reach me, I'll do whatever it is. An exe I'm doing whatever it is an executive producer is supposed to do. Still a mystery to me. <laughs> oh, and if you want to help me with anything business related to your expo exposition. Exposition. Expo, expo, uh, I'm not saying that word right. It's not exposition. That's a different word. Exhibition. There we go. Exhibition. Just say the word. God damn it. All right. That gave us some important story stuff right there. I'm glad I came over here first. This is Alice. For months after Ellen died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion. shock, the, the guilt, fear. I could barely get out of bed. 
Barry Wheeler started visiting. Uh oh. Cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Even after he moved out west. Is he trying to get with Alice? Mm. So yeah, they thought like Alice and everybody else, right? Obviously thought that uh uh sorry, not Alan Barry and Alice and everybody, the police, I think he was even declared dead at one point, but everybody thought Alan was dead, right? So I can do this. Yes. The visions I'm seeing from the world beyond this nightmare from home. They, they sit down to the bottom of this ocean. I I catch them. Visions, echoes, big fish. Some are actual events, some are forgotten ideas. No, it's good. No, it will work. That my inspiration elements for my story to make it more true, even the parts that are true. I, I must change reality to escape. The writing has to be just right, just right, or else it'll all just wash away. God damn. That's what we just watched, okay. And then we got a new radio. Oh, we got, yeah, yeah. We got the radio stuff for, we got all eight. We got all eight echoes uh, for draft number two. Good shit. Cody said, how do you come up with something like this? I don't know, dude. Sam Lake, the creative director and uh, the head writer for Remedy and basically like co-owner of the studio is, uh, he's an amazing storyteller and I really enjoy the stories in Alan Wake. I never played Control. Leon, I saw you talking about the Alan Wake DLC Alice's work for Control was really hard. I never played Control. Her whole life. I, um, I, uh, I know the high level overall story of Control. Um, but Control is a game I would like to do with you guys. I've heard it's very good and it's in the Alan Wake universe, so I got to do it. But I know, I know everything I need to know from Control that would be important to this game. By the way, you guys can still hear me, but my camera is fucked up. Hold on a sec. Sorry about that. I don't know why. My camera does this sometimes. We haven't figured out why. All right. Give it a sec. I got to unplug it, replug it back in. It'll be back. Hold on. It doesn't like me. It has to rebel sometimes. Seems like whenever I'm playing like a very, uh, like a triple A game. I don't know if my computer gets a little too hot for the camera and it doesn't like it. I'm back. What's up, baby? I froze. All right. I'm back. I should be good. Do I look weird? Is the, is the frame rate off? Am I like jerking around? I can't tell. I can't tell. Am I jerking? Okay. I think, I think it's caught up. You guys tell me if it's weird. You tell me if it's weird. If it was a, uh, yeah, it could be a software issue, but if it was a software issue, I would expect it to happen um, regardless of what I played. So, plus the game, the camera feels hot. So I don't know. Is my hat on straight? Probably not. I don't know. I know we talked about that the other night. I don't know. My hat's never on straight, according to my, 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 my wife. <laughs> All right. Hold on. We want to go in that red room, but there's like so much other stuff around here. Is that Alice again? One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below and I saw a little girl crying. Okay. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image of the horror of caring. And that's when I got myself out of bed and I picked up my camera. So Alan's wife, right? Remember, she's like an artist herself um, and she does like she did like documentaries and like uh like videography and cinematography and stuff kind of in a way i think and then she also painted and did painting and stuff i don't know she was uh, 
An artiste as well. I guess I would say. The apartment is changed. What the fuck is going on, dude? The apartment is... Is the apartment changing or am I just crazy? I feel like the apartment's changing. This was not here. There was something in the dark. Something I needed to see. To show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. That's creepy. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. The first Alan Wake game I personally loved. I thought it was fantastic, and I'm really enjoying this one so far, too. It's been... It, there's 13 years between both the games, though, so the first Alan Wake game... Like, they've really done a good job of upping the ante, upping the story, the cinematics, everything. Like, this game, the second one here is on another level. There's a world hidden behind ours. A dark tide ebbing and flowing against reality. Faces in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be. That, that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography can freeze reality in a snapshot, put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there. Dude, am I going to get that? That's a really good line. Am I going to get that line right? Fear is just really fear of what could be. That is so good. Part four, the realization purpose is straight. So it seems like Alice is kind of catching on that that the dark place is a thing and that there are other realities. It seems like she's like fear of the dark is fear of what could be. That's what it was. Thank you, Noel. That's I like that line. Um it seems like Alice is like figuring out some of it. That's interesting. That's Mr. Scratch, I think. Or is it supposed to be Alan? No, it's Alan. <laughs> Shit. Is the return manuscript there? Because we need that. Is that what that is on the table? On his writing table? That's the manuscript. That's what we've been after. The full manuscript of a novel. Return. A horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out. People would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. Oh shit, dude. No! That was a short chapter. <laughs> Holy crap. We got another song. We got another song. I think my camera kirked out again. Let's see if it's broken. It is broken. God fucking damn it. This piece of shit. I don't know why it does that. By the way, I know Cody or a couple of people in chat were mentioning software. I have tried like every different version of the webcam software to fix it. <clears throat> All right. 
Resetting it works though. It's only a dream on a winding road. That was Mr. Scratch, yeah, there at the end. In the dark chamber of my head, I flip you. This does make me want to keep going. This winding road. It's a loop, remember? Hey, what's up, Mr. Diamante? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Billy Moore said, so if he writes something, does it come true? In a sense. Not a, a yes and no. Yes, because yes. Alan can write something and it changes the reality he's in or it has an effect. But it doesn't always have the effect that he wants or it changes things sometimes that he didn't intend or the dark presence fights back and changes stuff at the same time and so then it fucks his story up. So, yes and no. Stream's going good, man. We've completed two chapters tonight so far. By the way, I have a throat luges, lunges, lunge, lunge. We, I can never say that word, right? We've talked about this. And so if I'm talking funny or you're like, what's in your mouth? All right, this is the looping song again. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. Scratch stopped me before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. Okay, so the we got- The memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Scratch was there, at Parliament Tower, undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. All right. I have no words of power to upgrade. Typewriter? What am I saying? Zane had said we worked on Return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote Return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. Dude, oh man. I should have cut my face cam sooner. Holy shit, we're back here? This is like the masks initiation seven. This is like where we were on the talk show with Mr. Door. Yeah, talk to Mr. Door. All right, hold on a second though. Is there a save room here? Yeah, there is. Cause we're supposed to be able to switch between Saga and Alan. Yeah, like I could go do some chapters as Saga or I could keep going as Alan. I don't know what the right thing to do is. What do you guys want me to do? I don't know if I want to switch. I feel like I'm caught up, but I feel like I'm getting way further ahead as Alan versus Saga. I think I want to keep going as Alan. Switch time. Should I switch? What do you guys think? Let me do a poll real quick. Because I'm honestly on the fence. I vote. So Lily votes Alan. Lurkers, you guys can vote in the poll too. Saga Anderson. Leon is the other main character of this game. She's an FBI agent. And she also lived in Bright Falls at one point. Uh, we played a lot as like you start off the game as her until you find Alan and uh, half of the game you play as Saga, half you play as Alan. And we hit a point in the game, you get a point in the game where at save locations, you can switch between both of them and you can play their chapters in pretty much any order. Which by the way, um, apparently people have said, it doesn't matter whose chapter you play when, they have crafted the story of this game in a manner so that there's not like a preferred order, like whatever order you play in, the story ends up 
I'm going to put make sense in quotes because things are fucked up and there are alternate realities, right? But the story is still cohesive no matter what order or what chapters you play in. So that is a crazy feat as a writer to be able to craft a story like that, put it together. And regardless of how you're like, you know, almost like a choose your own adventure, that is pretty fucking crazy. It looks like 60% are saying Alan. Okay, so we're going to keep, I'm going to say, uh, how many votes do I have? 20 votes. I mean, let's, let's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's end it. I'm going to keep going as Alan. I kind of wanted to keep going as Alan, but I was also like, I don't know. Should I, uh, should, should I go see what's up with Saga? But let's keep going. All right, so we're on the Mr. Door Talk show again. I think there are a couple of points where the game forces you to go back to one or the other. But other than that, you kind of have freedom to choose, which is nice. That's ominous. Holy shit. He's acting like he's about to murder me. I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can start pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask, but you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules, endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky, you know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. Who the fuck is this guy? Opening doors. Peeking in. I can't tell if he's Reaching bad or good. Get what you want, and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wake. Holy shit. Whatever you say. I don't know what to make of I don't know what to make of Mr. Door, Door anymore. Zane, <laughs> the masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. I'm going to be honest, that whole interaction was threatening, right? But I think before that interaction right there, I thought Mr. Door was like a lieutenant or like part of the Dark Presence or was working with the Dark Presence. But after that, I think he might be separate from the Dark Presence. And I think he might have his own agenda that maybe doesn't align with the Dark Presence and maybe doesn't fully align with Alan either. So I don't know. I can't tell. It kind of blew his character open a little bit for me right there. That's interesting. Uh, for the Discord, yeah, you could type exclamation mark Discord like Misty did in chat. And uh, that's the link to my Discord right there. Yeah, if you click on that link, Leon, right there, uh, it should take you to a web page uh, either on your phone or on your um, uh, uh, computer. And it'll ask you to sign in with your Discord account. And it's an invite to uh, the, my Discord. It'll It'll take you right in. 
Dude, I don't... Yeah, man. I... I... I didn't fully know what Mr. Door's deal was, but I was I was fairly certain he was a bad dude, and now I'm I'm not. <laughs> no fucking clue. All right, hold on. Initiation draft number three. Uh, can we go? Where are we trying to go here? I have no idea where we're trying to go, to be honest. That's all of Alice's videos that we watched. All right, let's go back here. He said, stay out of his way. We can't go that way. What's my objectives? Escape the... Okay, we got to get out of the talk show studio. All right. All right. That's doable, I think. Hey. Stop following me, you fucking bitch. That is not okay. There's water again. I don't like this, dude. What is this? My interpretation of the many worlds. Casper... Dr. Casper Darling. He's a character from Control. Right? In the Alan Wake universe. Cody, you want some backstory? It's very complicated. I will give as quick a possible rundown as I can. Um, so the first Alan Wake game, essentially Alan Wake is a famous writer. Uh, you could put him on par with like Stephen King. Right? Like he writes horror stories and dramas and stuff. They're really popular. He uh, works a lot and uh, you find out in the course of the first game that he's probably having maybe some marital strife or issues with his wife. But they take a, a vacation or a break to the... They live in New York City. They take a, a vacation or a break to Bright Falls, Washington, uh, to the Pacific Northwest as like a kind of like a a break and a reset for Alan because he's kind of experiencing burnout and depression and Alice is worried about him. And they go there and when they go there, Alice disappears. Um, or at least Alan thinks she does. And so he searches for her and uh, he's trying to find her and save her the whole time. And it turns out that he finds out that some of the stuff that he's writing changes reality or can come true. And there's something called the Dark Presence, which is like the big bad, which you could think of as like evil manifest or darkness, right? That is hurting people, killing people, bringing them into an alternate reality. And come to find out, Alan thinks the Dark Presence has Alice. And so the whole first game is trying to get Alice back. And the game ends, spoiler, if you haven't played the first Alan Wake, you don't want a spoiler. I'm going to spoil the end of the game for the first one in one, two, three, one, two, three. Alan switches places. Alice is trapped in the darkness and she switches places. Alan is able to switch places with her and he becomes trapped in the darkness, in the dark place, in the alternate reality. And Alice is back in, in our world. So he essentially saves her. It's kind of ambiguous. And then there's 13 years uh, until this Alan Wake 2 game comes out. Alan's been missing. And uh, everybody presumes that he's dead. And then you start playing this game as Saga Anderson, an FBI agent who comes to Bright Falls, Washington to investigate the murder of a fellow FBI agent named Robert Nightingale, who was an FBI agent who worked on the original Bright Falls case and Allen stuff in the first game. And uh, in Saga's investigation, you eventually end up finding Allen. Um, he cut, he's able to come back into the real world or into our reality. And now the dark presence is, um, messing with Alan in the real world again. It's the reason that other FBI agent Robert Nightingale is killed. And Alan is basically trying to prevent a collision of realities from occurring and basically like, you know, ending the real world or whatever. And he's also trying to figure out what's going on with Alice because... Alice is missing yet again. That's a really rough around the edges. I left out some minor plot details or some other things, and some of that might be up for interpretation based on who, you know, was playing the game or whatever. But that's that's really rough around the edges, high level, everything that's going on so far. Here is the light at the end of the tunnel. If you come in there, you won't be happy. Is this a safe area or is this just a bathroom? 
Uh, there's also another game. So the Alan Wake game, the first Alan Wake game had a DLC called American Nightmare. Um, I, that stuff is important, but it's not super important to the like high level story. So we won't dive into that. And then there's another game set in the Alan Wake universe, but follows different character and a and a different storyline. It's called Control. Um, and it kind of delves into, I guess, universe lore about um, why Alan has the... It, it doesn't say specifically this is why, but it deals with other things that let you know that Alan's universe kind of has like these almost like SCP-like entities or items or people that can do things that aren't natural. And so I think the implication is that Alan is is one of those things. There's a DLC, there's an Alan Wake DLC for that game that uh, kind of pretty much uh, essentially says that. So that's Ahidi, the janitor. I can't open that door. All right, let's talk to our boy Ahidi. I didn't mean to do that flashlight right there. The help is also dear. I'm going to close this door. I don't want those guys coming in here. Although I don't think they care about closed doors. It was like the cliff notes almost. I don't know if I did a good job or a bad job. If anybody else knows the overarching story and all that, and there's anything you want to add, or there's anything you think I got wrong, you're welcome to sound off in chat and say that. Door didn't seem happy to see me this It's time. a lot to cover. <laughs> the master is the root of wisdom. But don't let the game get you down. He's playing his role. Maybe put him in your film, Tom, like you have put me. <laughs> I'm not Tom yeah, Zane. Honest. I'm Alan. What films? <laughs> I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Tom the Poet, my favorite, and Uerden Uer is the most famous one, of course, and. Is it true what I hear? That it's coming back to cinema soon? Is there a bottom to this rumor? Leon said you're recognizing a lot of things for Control. Yes, uh, Control is a... Uh, my understanding is for someone who has played all of the Alan Wake games and DLCs and then also Control and its DLC, my understanding is... Control is very central. You can think of control almost like, think of like, uh, I, I don't know a better analogy. Let's think of it like Marvel movies, all right? Even if you hate Marvel movies, do you have a movie that's focused on like Captain America, right? Like the Alan Wake games, they're focused on Alan. But then a broader movie like Infinity War or Endgame is focused on multiple heroes and like the larger universe as a whole, right? That's what control is, right? It's a larger unit. It's focused on the larger universe at whole, as a whole, and why, but it, like, it doesn't tell you. It doesn't go into these. It doesn't talk about Alan a lot, especially the main game. But it it goes into like, like because of that game story. My understanding is, you potentially have some knowledge as to why the dark presence might exist in the first place. Why real there's multiple versions of reality and like why Alan can potentially you can infer that like, oh, Alan can, has his powers because in this world, in this universe that the the game studio has created, there are these SCP like things, right? So I need to get back to my apartment. Can you help me? Well, plan is half done. Plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the uh... The light pictures, the photos you artist wife took. I have to use uh, those. They are waiting in the shoebox in the basement. What? <laughs> what you leave behind, you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi. <laughs> Adi, <laughs> I love Adi. Is this dude? I, he's a kid. So, uh, for those that are new to Alan Wake or don't know, Adi is a character I, 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 that it's kind of unclear. He's never fully explained, but he's a character that either Thomas Zane, which is an alternate version of Alan, or Alan himself wrote and created. And he's kind of like a passive observer. Sometimes he helps you or gives you information. Um, but a lot of times it's very unclear, like his purpose or, or 
I don't know. He's not a bad guy. He doesn't harm you, but he's just, he's kind of a silly, like, off the wall character. Like, as an example, earlier in this game, in this, in Alan Wake 2, you find him in a bar, like, singing karaoke, and he won't talk to you or interact with you. So he's, he's an interesting dude. That's a good way to describe it, uh, Lily. You said it was, it's like controls like a movie, uh, connected to two TV shows. Yeah, that's a really good way to describe it. I like that. Hold on, that looks like it might be the exit out of here, so I want to see what's over here first before we do that. Okay. Am I supposed to take the light here to change reality? Yeah, now we can do the... Okay, hold on. I'm going to put it back. Put it back, and then I don't know that we... Okay, hold on. All right. We're going to go here with the light there, and then we're going to go there with the light taken away. Excuse me? Don't talk to me. ID is a G. Yeah, he is. He's great. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do control at some point. It's just going to be I'll prioritize new releases over it is all because it's a little bit of an older game, right? So it's not time sensitive. But yeah, control will be something that we play together because I really want to play it. I almost killed myself. I didn't think that would be the end of the chapter. That surprised me. And then water went down the wrong hole. Oh, shit. Huh. <coughs> Fuck. That was another short chapter. Holy shit. <clears throat> was it supposed to be that short? I don't know if I'm good, dude. If I die, somebody call 911. <laughs> <laughs> I've I don't know what right there I was drinking water and then it said end of part and that surprised me and I I, I wanted to say what but I had water in my mouth and that caused me to swallow the water wrong <laughs> that was awkward oh fuck oh okay I think I'm okay what two realities do I switch between? I switch between Alan in he's in the dark place or the dark reality. And I could and I could switch from him in the dark place to Saga Anderson, who's in I always put this in quote marks, who's in the real world. But I don't like I don't know that it's the real I guess, like, what would you call it? Like, she's in the universe prime or she's in the main reality or what we believe to be the main reality in the Alan Wake universe. But obviously there's like alternate realities. So who's to say which one's the main one and which one's not, you know, but she's in the quote unquote real world. <laughs> so <clears throat> Misty said, yes, my boss Skilly is dying on stream. I have no idea where he's located. Helpful. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> hey, what's up, Josh? Well, Josh A, welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. All right. Holy shit. Well, those chapters went fast. So I can take the light. All right. Do I... Excuse me? Don't you start that shit. Uh, do I want to leave it here? Or do I want to... Do I want to take it with... Okay. I actually need the light to go forward, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, this is a safe room, so I can save. I can switch reality. Okay, I'm going to keep going as Alan. I think I want to keep going as Alan, although I think we are way further in the story as Alan than we are as Saga, but I'm going to have confidence that like Remedy and like everybody else who's finished the game has said, you can, it doesn't matter what order you play in. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have confidence in that. I'm invested tonight in Alan's side of things, so I'm going to keep going. The Josh army is strong again. Yes, as always. To get to Parliament Tower, I needed to find a murder site. You need to so find a murder? Where to find one. Okay. All right, I got to go back to the hotel and look for Zane. All right. Oh, shit. Where's the hotel again? Hold on. Let's just use our map. Let's not be silly. There's new echoes, though. There's new there's new stuff and things. Um. 
there's a new echo right there on the right. What else is there? There's something all the way over here. Point of interest. All right, I'll bite. We'll try to go over there. That's a long way away though, dude. Holy shit. And the hotel is straight up. Okay, off. Of, yeah, that's right. All right. Let's find this echo right here. Inside this messy maze of blood trails I was chasing the cult through, I ran into the filmmaker, Thomas. Zane, Take care, David. Have a good one. Thanks for joining. A bohemian with a hard on for acts of cruelty performed in the name of occult nonsense. A director wants to control every aspect of the world in their films. Is a cult leader any different? Was Zane just another alias for Scratch? There was a rumor that Wake and Zane had been working on something together. I was going to get the truth out of Zane with whatever means necessary. So for those wondering who this guy Casey is, we keep seeing and he's talking like a cop. He's an FBI agent. Um, it's debatable on whether or not he's real. So in the real world reality with Saga Anderson, he's an experienced FBI agent who is her partner. But he's also a character that Alan Wake wrote named with the same name, Alec Casey, who is an FBI agent, a cop, essentially. Um, and... Uh, it's like one of Alan's like famous book series and you'll see like billboards and posters everywhere like closed Casey uh, It says an Alex Casey film based on novels by Alan Wake see and They even address it the real Alex Casey when you're with him as Saga Anderson He talks about it and she kind of like gives him shit or ribs him that he shares a name with a fictional character who's really famous, but it's I don't know. There's been hints that like maybe he's real, maybe he's not. I don't know. It's kind of it's kind of weird. So who knows? Yeah, Null said is Zane just another alias for Scratch? That's what uh, Casey said. I know. I don't know. Thanks for subscribing to the channel, Broccoli. I appreciate it. I had broccoli for dinner tonight. We talked about that earlier. All right, I was going to, there was a point of interest. This might be something I missed a while ago, but I could, should I try to get all the way back to that? Let's see. Let's see if it's quick. I don't know. Is this the right way to go to get to it? Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can make this quick. If not, we'll back out. I'm not going to spend forever trying to figure out what the hell the point of interest is. I just, it popped, it piqued my interest. Oh, I remember this place. Oh, fuck. Well, how do I... There's a ladder over here and a door over there. Okay, hold on. I don't want to waste a bunch of resources fighting Dark Presence people if, uh... In an area that isn't going to continue the game if we can't help it. I think this, I, I remember, I think this is one that I couldn't figure out before. So we might, yeah. Let's go down this way. Let's see. We might just leave this alone. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to get back there. So we're going to get out of here. We can get out and go back on the street. We gotta go back to Ocean View. Let's just go to the hotel. Postway with the five gifted channel memberships. Chris S, Dan Watt, Odeo, Jano13131, and Cheyenne McDonald. We're all gifted channel memberships on behalf of Postway. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate that, man. That helps out a bunch. Thank you, sir. All right. We are back in the hotel. Maybe we get to uh, talk to Tim now. He was in room 206, right? And we couldn't open it. Oh, 
yeah what's up bitches all right i can Zane's change reality here five was upstairs the elevator would take me there all right it wants me to go back in the elevator but before we do that i needed a new anything different here i don't have keys or anything maybe he's gonna tell me all right i'll do i'll do the elevator let's let's go maybe i'm gonna be able to change something after i talk to zane yeah, you can open doors normally. I just I just tend to bust through all of them. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm an idiot. I love doing it. It's great. But sometimes I scare the shit out of myself because I unintentionally do it. I think it's because I it, you do it when you're sprinting. If you're sprinting and you come to a door that can be open, you do the shoulder drop and bust through it. And I'm like, unless I'm like in a new area that I haven't been before and I'm trying to figure out something, I'm usually sprinting. Where was this room? Is this room? I don't remember. Hold on. Yeah, it doesn't really tell me. Is it this way or it's it's over here? This is his room back here, right? 665. This is his room. I got to use the projector to get into it. That's right. Something it's like totally another reality. Be happy to see me this time. All right, here we go. It's going to be a cinematic probably. Am I holding Zane at gunpoint? I am. I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head. Scratch wrote return, not me. You're a fucking liar. You'd given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch, he promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. He was magnificent, a visionary. I mean, it was art. Then, when he finished, he took return and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up, but you can still catch him before he gets out, before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema where my film Nightless Night is playing. Oh shit. Oh my God. Alan just straight up killed Zane. <laughs> Holy shit. I told you shit. not to try anything. <sighs> so we got to go to the cinema to the film because Zane is a, is a, is a, like a, a director, right? He makes movies. Go to poets cinema and, and poems and stuff. stuff. Yeah, holy shit. So we've also theorized i think lily and others were asking well, what's my theories on this game oh hold on thousands have gone missing beyond the labyrinth of me when you're lost you're lost in your own company what the fuck and cut <sighs> <laughs> Now that is drama. <laughs> what a fucking weirdo. So hey, real quick, couple things. First, welcome to the stream, Jimmy uh, Quinn. Oh, Thanks for joining. I, I appreciate it. About Zane, but I, I had more pressing concerns. I have a lot of questions about Zane now too. Uh, Jimmy, thanks for joining the stream. I appreciate it. And happy birthday to Cheyenne. She's a, a regular viewer and watcher and also the wife of Josh G. So... Looks like we've ticked over past midnight here in the U.S., at least on the East Coast. And so, happy birthday to her. I hope you have a good day. Make Josh do stuff for you. Make him do whatever you want to do. <laughs> I had to find the movie theater Poet Cinema. The next murder site was there. All right. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. So, 
All right, let's recap a little bit. I need to, I need to talk through this too so that I make sure I'm following along and understanding too. I do this just as much for you guys as for me. So we've I've also theorized that potentially Alan could be like schizophrenic or something, right? Or he has like severe mental illness and it, or multiple personality disorder or something, right? Because Scratch is like the evil version of him, and then Thomas Z or Thomas Zane is another version of him, right? But who knows? Are they? actual other alternate reality versions and the dark presence is just using them and they have maybe abilities similar to alan and they're warping between realities too or are they all in alan's head and alan has schizophrenia or multiple personality disorder or something along those lines um or is because the dark presence is fucking with alan and messing up his mind is it fracturing his consciousness and causing him to have these other, you know, these other entities or parts of himself, right? And he's like writing them as a way to, I don't know, help him get out of the dark place and the dark presence. I don't know. There's like so many different routes I think you could take with this. Uh, and it hasn't been confirmed yet. We'll have to see what happens at the end of the game. <clears throat> yeah, Jimmy, you're all, you're all, you're all, you're all, you're all, you're all there. Jimmy, you're good. Uh, stream elements gets overzealous a little, a little sometimes. My bot for stream, and it just deleted your message. But you're good. Don't worry. It might have timed you out for sixty or ninety seconds or something. I apologize about that. I can't undo it, unfortunately. But it'll let you back. It'll you'll you're good. So no worries. <laughs> Skelly, what makes you so sure Alan isn't an alter? Ah, uh, I he might be. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You, Ali said, I theorized that this was somehow real and a part of his soul in this place, but at the end, uh, wait, 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 wait. Nobody spoil anything. I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know if that's a spoiler or not, but hopefully not. Nobody spoil anything. <laughs> no spoilers. We haven't beat the game yet. We'll see what happens. I think the game is going to leave stuff open-ended some still. It's going to leave... The first game definitely left you to draw like your own conclusions. The movie theater on the far side of the plaza. What if he's in it? Yeah, we can speculate if you don't know. What if he's in an insane asylum for murdering his wife? He could be. I don't know that they're going to give it... Everybody talks about... Which it has been really great that so far. Everybody talks about this game being an amazing story and a and a mind funk and that's like what it got that's what it got awards and stuff for us so i while that's while that is not a bad story in my opinion and you could do it right i feel like it and it's not a bad theory i feel like it's not leading to that i could be wrong though i could be very wrong i don't think it's leading to that though all right where's the cinema poet cinema is down here off of Draft Street. So I need to go get on Ocean Avenue. So turn a left on Ocean Avenue, turn a left on Caldera Street, and then a left on Draft Street and go straight down to the car wash. Okay. Oh, Ali, I apologize. You guys are talking about you guys are talking about secret window. Oh my bad. I wasn't fully up on chat. I gotcha. Sorry about that. I feel like the writers could make the ending better. Potentially. I don't know. I think, I think, I think it. Okay, wait. I think, I think. I don't think that's the ending. I, listen, I could be wrong. You could be 100% right. I don't think that's the ending because that ending feels like it's very definitive. And I don't think Remedy is done with Alan Wake and the Alan Wake universe. And I don't know that that holds true to, like, the control stuff about the world. So I don't think that's the case. But I could be wrong. So I don't know. We'll see. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. It's all the way down here. Hey! Hey, bitch! I don't have any more flashlight batteries. Shit. All right, I got him. Guys, I'm fucked. I don't, I only have one flashlight charge. I got flares and flashbangs, but I don't want to use them. You feel like this is all something an insane person would come up with? Yeah, I mean, that, you're not wrong. 
Oh my god. They're like really... They're fucking with me. I don't like it, dude. Get the fuck away from me. It's like they know that I don't have much of a flashlight. Alright, we gotta go through the car wash to get to the cinema. It looks like... Shit, dude! Oh, shit! I'm gonna die. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, they gave me flashlight. What the fuck, dude? I need to heal. I need a med kit. Holy shit, my health is almost gone. Uh, thanks for subscribing. <laughs> thanks for subscribing. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> D's nuts, 69, 69. Fuck it, I'll say it. And thanks for subscribing, Abraham uh, Pinata. I appreciate both of you for subscribing to the channel. <laughs> I can't believe YouTube. I don't have a problem with it, but I'm surprised YouTube's filters didn't catch that name. That's <laughs> interesting. They just know we're low on weapons. I think they actually do. I I think you're right. Light cut through the darkness. All right, now I'm officially out of flashlight. I got lucky there because story-wise the game requires you to have flashlight to get in here so it gave me one battery more but now I don't have anything so I think we're I think we're gonna flashbang all right all right fuck you guys that stuns them for a second oh my god there are so many in here the fuck is wrong with y'all? Hey! Hey! There's batteries in there. Oh, dude! Shotgunned him. God, he took away a lot of my health, though. He took over half my health away. Fucking asshole. Did I get everything out of there? Okay. I, I didn't want to give up the two batteries, but I probably should have just gave them up, right? <clears throat> this is going to be a safe spot over here, isn't it? It's locked. Okay, fine. Fuck open. you. No safe spot for me, then. Yeah, no, I agree, Allie. Uh, I don't know. We don't know fully yet how Saga plays into this. I've played more chapters so far, too, as Alan. I've focused more on Alan's story since he came back. So that's probably why we don't have a full understanding yet. But some of our theories have been, yeah, that she's also somebody that Alan has written to help. Like Alan has manifested her to help him, right? Or Alan, or... She's a real person who Alan has actively written stuff about her to change her life because she's confused. She doesn't remember living in Bright Falls, right? Alan has actually changed her life because he's trying to get help, right? Like he's used his writing powers to, to make her come to Bright Falls to help him. I, I don't know. It's one of those two potentially, I think, but we should find out more eventually. Where am I? I'm supposed to go to the cinema, I know. But is there anything in this area? There's an echo. Somewhere. Where the fuck is the echo? Alright, there's dark people down there. That goes more this way. Alright, hold on. It's more like in front of the cinema. I don't think I'm supposed to go that way yet. Although there's... There's this arrow which usually points towards a collectible. But maybe I'm not supposed to go back there. Unapologetic Yen said it didn't help that earlier Alan himself said he did, he'd did he write her into the story. Yeah, that didn't help. You are absolutely right. Also, though, I think it's important to remember in... The, in, in Alan is what's called in story writing and storytelling. He's what's called an unreliable narrator, right? So we have to be careful of trusting everything that Alan says as fact because 
uh, he has said himself he doesn't remember things, right? The dark presence is messing with him. He's confused. He doesn't always know fully what's going on himself, right? So he's an unreliable narrator. So he might just be unintentionally wrong about some things or not remember something or uh you know he might be he, he might be a villain he might not be all a good guy you know so we don't know like lily said he potentially he could maybe he murdered his wife and he's in an insane asylum we don't know so we have to take what alan says with a grain of salt i think Because he just could totally be full of shit. <laughs> Can I open this? Is this like a shortcut? What is this? Yeah, that goes back out to the car wash, right? No, that goes back out to the street. Okay. It's like a little shortcut to get in here. All right. Before I go into the theater, I'm just exploring around this area. Looking for items or anything. It didn't say there was anything, but... All right, I just got rid of him. I think we're going to have to use the ladder over there. Okay, yeah, I was also looking for this. Where's the... Here we go. Something kept me going. A broken man. No hope, no prospects, no love. Too stubborn to die. Oh, like I see him right there. A misguided sense of honor and justice in a city where there can never be justice. Like a good example of an unreliable narrator, I mean, which this story is, has been debated a lot too, but if you've ever seen Shutter Island with Leonardo DiCaprio, how that whole story plays out and what's implied with its ending, right? Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's character in that is an unreliable narrator, right? So I'm, I think I'm going to try. I'm going to go up though. I'm going to go on the roof here. Yeah. Shutter oh, Island is a good movie. I like it. Yep. That's one of them. Yep. <laughs> like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Dude, if if State Farm Jake showed up after I said that, I'd I I I would I would I'd shit myself. Love you some Leo. Yeah, Leo's he's a good actor. All right, is there a point to me being up here? Oh, there is. There's another echo. They say God made us in his image. <laughs> Just like us, he is an uncaring, cruel son of a bitch. <sighs> Having made it in heaven, he doesn't want us there, dirtying up all that nice white upholstery. And he doesn't want to reach down to help us. He gets his kicks just binge watching us struggling, hurting, killing, dying, Damn. screwing it up again and again. Alex Casey's an Lazily atheist, stirring confirmed. it up when things <laughs> threaten to get too placid. This city is only here to satisfy his sick, voyeuristic pleasure. <laughs> You'd be happy if Jake showed up. He's hot. I don't, I can vaguely picture him, but I don't, um, because I don't have, uh, I don't have cable, and, and so I don't see ads that much. I also, like, for any service that I use, I know this is coming from a place of privilege, but I don't subscribe to a lot of services, but, like, YouTube, because that's a big part of my life, right, and part of my career, I have YouTube Premium, so I don't see ads that often. Um, so, yeah, I don't know that I can picture him right away. I vaguely, I think I could vaguely describe him, but I can't. Hey. Oh, hey. Bitch. I need some revolver bullets for the love of fucking God. Do I need, oh, I need to give my ticket before I can go in. <laughs> the dark place is logic. Please enjoy the film, sir. Please enjoy the film, sir. Hey, what's up, Yeti? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. The cinema lobby was a gateway to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here. So what do we got? We got hard Casey, final Casey, 
Wait, I gotta read all that. Hard boiled and hungover. I love it. <laughs> there are no happy endings. We've seen these before. It's a cold day in hell. Cold Casey. <laughs> I love this. All right, where's my? I, there's another echo to to get the the scene. We're rewriting the story of return, right? Where's the? Where's the part to line up with this? It must be in here. Lobby, new scene. All right. Come on. Where's the? How do I line this up? Is it? Is it if I, if I go this way? Is it up? Oh, it's up here. Okay, got it. Here we go. I felt like I'd been on this case looking for the cult of the word for a lifetime or more. The only case I'd ever been on. They would surface from the dark with their depraved acts of violence and fade back into the night, leaving behind bloody crime scenes and clues heavy with obscure meanings that led nowhere. Arriving at the cinema, I felt them monumental, terrifying revelation trembling before me, ready to open its jaws and swallow me whole. This place had significance to the cult. There was something to use there. <laughs> Wait, hold on. The, the arrows are telling me to go different ways. What the fuck? Uh, bullets, bodies, and bourbon. Worst Casey. <laughs> Also, for those who are wondering, why do we keep seeing echoes of Alex Casey? So, Alan, right now, we're trying to rewrite the return manuscript to be in our favor, right? So that we can get out of the dark place and save Alice. <clears throat> the manuscript that we're trying to rewrite is an Alex Casey novel, okay? So that's why we're... I don't know if I had said that before, but that's why we keep seeing echoes of, of Alex Casey is... We're playing as Alan, going through, trying to adapt and change the return manuscript to our favor so that we can essentially beat the Dark Presence and get out. And we keep seeing echoes of what the story either currently is or what we're trying to change it to in some in some instances, I think. So that's what's happening there. Uh, Jimmy asked, have I ever played Subnautica? I, I have not. The story, one that would get me a head of scratch. I uh I played let me rephrase that I haven't really played Subnautica I played Subnautica for like two hours one time I I missed out on the Subnautica boat and then when I started working for IGP I was like oh man I should really like Subnautica is a big part of his channel right I should play Subnautica just so that I'm knowledgeable about it and I've played it before and he likes it a lot and he's my best friend so I should play it so I sat down and I played like two hours of it it's not that I didn't like it I just I ended up getting too busy and never could get back to it. So I definitely need to do it at some point though. All right, let's change reality. Oh, now we got some blood. Site. I was making progress. Okay. All right, hold on though. There were doors. There's a safe room right there. I see that. But there were doors and stuff up here. Let's see if we can go in. We might have to flip reality back. There was this door over here. I'm betting it's locked, probably. But we'll 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 see what happens. It's not locked. Interesting. I really expected that to be fucking locked. We don't have I don't have a map for this place yet. I need to find the map. That's that's important. I was missing something. All right. I think that leads to the roof of the cinema. Ooh. Files. What is that? Bulates. And gun ammo. I actually really needed that. I'm glad I got that. All right. Back downstairs. Let's figure out what the fuck's going on. Death Boomer 55. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Yeah, we are definitely doing more Sea of Thieves. All of our videos are doing well on it. So the audience has spoken. We will be playing more Sea of Thieves. Faux show. We were actually, Dre, IGP, and I were actually briefly discussing it in um, our group chat. Uh, earlier today. So yeah, more Sea of Thieves to come. I appreciate you guys showing all of our videos love on that one. So that was a blast too. We had a lot we had a lot of fun personal I, I know I personally did and they mentioned they had a lot of fun too. So yeah, there'll be more videos coming. <clears throat> Anything okay. Hello? Oh man. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to carry all of this, but we'll see. 
All right, I got everything. Good shit. Uh, is that where? Oh yeah, that's right. There were arrows in the lobby pointing me places. Let's make sure we hit all of that. Uh, where were the arrows again? Oh, they were back. They were back behind the curtain. All right, never mind. Wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's an arrow up here. Let's check it out. <laughs> you downloaded it because of us, but yeah, I mean, I, I I will be the first to tell you I am not very knowledgeable on Sea of Thieves, and I usually tend to go into our collab videos blind because I think it makes it I think it makes it funnier. It adds to the chaos and everything. Uh, I know that IGP and Dre have played before, but not a lot. They probably uh, both have like a combined 15, 10 hours maybe total together. So they haven't played a ton and it's been spread out. You know, they've recorded like three or four videos over the course of their careers for two or three hours at a time and that's it. So they haven't, they haven't like, they're not hardcore players. They haven't seriously gotten into it, but you know. Why is the, okay. One arrow says go that way, that is go that way. And then this arrow says, no, go back that way. I just want to make sure there's nothing else over here that I'm missing. And I can't, I can't double check right now. Cause I don't have a fucking map. <laughs> I need to find the damn map. All right. I, I think we're good. I want to do the word of power, though, that we just got. Didn't we just get a word of power? Yeah, words of fix. All right. I've already done wellness retreat, increased max health all the way up to 50%. I did three words of power in that. God raise, increased max amount of health restored in safe havens by 23% to 46%. Restores 50% of max health when a new word of power is discovered. I'm going to do God raise. I don't feel I don't feel like restoring 50% of max health when you get a word of power. It's not that often. I don't feel like that's worth it. So I'm not going to do it. Cody asked, can we do long videos for Sea of Thieves? I did an hour uh, or close to it was like 30 seconds or 40 seconds less than an hour. I usually try to make my collab videos somewhere between 45 minutes and an hour and a half. So, yeah, I will have long videos on it. Uh, IGP Dre, they have different styles that they go for. So, but yes, I will, uh, my videos will be longer on it. All right. I think we got to actually move forward now over here. Let's go save though, before we do that. The question, how do you run from an idea, from a thought, from a story what that the fuck? in your head? You can't escape your fears. You carry your monsters with you. The devil will be back. It's in you. You're running right back to it. A loop. I have to stop. Stop running. Stop writing. A loop, in another word. It's too dangerous. Only horror comes out of it. People get hurt. I will let the currents of this ocean wash me away. But what if I forget why I stopped? What if I forget I stopped at all? That is fucked up. If that happens, I'll start writing again. Did I stop writing at some point? I can't stop. There's too much at stake. There's too much at stake, bro. Uh, yeah, I ed I actually edited IGP's Sea of Thieves video because I do work for him. Um, but he always reviews everything I edit, and then he might make some minor changes just based on personal preference. But um, but yeah, I edited his video. But yeah, no, IGP doesn't have a particular time frame he goes for on his videos he just goes for a particular editing style and so and i try to match the editing style that he wants when i edit videos for him someone had barricaded so, themselves in the room i have a different personal preference slash style for my videos it's similar in nature but i i go for a little bit longer cut a little bit more i keep a little bit more for lack of a better term exposition in my videos all right, I think I'm supposed to be back here and then change the scene back and it'll leave me behind the counter and I can get into that area, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I didn't need to do that to be behind the counter at all. Okay, sure. You were dying when IGP said show me and he was and I was running away. <laughs> I might I might have been trolling a little bit right there. <laughs> 
Well, Dre and IGP were fucking with me. They were like, so first, hold on. Let's talk about that for a second because this is really funny. I don't know. For those that don't know Sea of Thieves and we didn't know this. So someone told me in the comments of that video that whenever you pick up a quest or you have a treasure map that the other people on your team, they then gain access to that map and they can pull it out themselves. But we didn't know that. So IGP and Dre thought I was the only one that had the map and they kept wanting to look at it and they kept fucking with me. I don't know if you guys caught on, but they were kind of, they were half teasing, half not, but they kept saying like, show us the map, show us the map, you know, like, and like being like, bring the damn map here. But they were like, just trying to, you know, troll and fuck with me. So then finally when IGP would like really actually wanted it, I, I was like, no, fuck you guys. And so I was, yeah, I was trolling a little bit and intentionally running away from him, but yeah, but I, I actually, when I got that comment and then I Googled it real quick just to make sure the person wasn't fucking with me. And yeah, sure enough, if you pick up a quest or a treasure map in Sea of Thieves, everybody who's in your team or party has it. And we didn't know that. And so I immediately screenshotted that comment and shared it with IGP in our, in our group chat. And I was like, fuck you guys. <laughs> I was like, you guys had the map the whole time. <laughs> so, all right. Now I actually have the map for this place. Speaking of maps, that's that's fucking that's poetic, right? All right, it says there's another echo down here or out here. So I need to go try to find that echo. And then it says there's something over there, but we haven't gotten over there yet. And there's a container here that I haven't picked up. All right. So there's a container in here that I haven't gotten somewhere. There we go. This is probably it. What was that shotgun shells right and a and a what was that a trauma pad all right is that the container i believe that is the container yeah that was the container so there's an echo back out here that i need to go find all right is it in here is this where the echo's at yeah yeah, yeah. all right and this is moving forward okay so it makes sense that the echo would be in here somewhere All right, they're pumping me back up with shotgun shells, so I think I'm going to use the shotgun. So, um, where's the echo? Oh, do I need to change it? I need to change it. Probably. Cult of the word. All right, come on. Why can I not... Do I walk towards it? There we go. Do you a lot of good to talk, buddy? <laughs> it was an initiation ceremony. Or so we made our new members believe. Two of New York's finest. They had performed endless favors to earn their place among us. We had something special waiting for them. And something very special for you, Alex Casey. Oh, that is... Who's your leader? Oh, that's... Alan Wake? Hmm? Scratch? Zane? Give me a name! <laughs> you will meet him soon. That's now. one of the uh, Kof Kafka no brothers or whatever. It's fit the genre. Or that's what it so seemed like it, it was. It. Investigate the theater hall, okay. Hey, what's up, Denise? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Good to have you. Good to see you again. Hey, Joe Bennett. Welcome. Welcome to your what I assume is your first stream. Based on your comment, you just watched the ship video. You didn't expect the ship to show up underwater. Neither did we. We are not. I had never played before, and IGP and Dre are not very experienced Sea of Thieves players, and uh, that surprised the shit out of us. <laughs> that was a really cool moment. It was especially cool because IGP and I were in the water. Uh, I love it when things work out like that. That was. <laughs> it was terrifying, too, hearing that sound. Like, you know, IGP reacted to the sound that I did too. It's like, what the fuck is that, dude? What is that? And then that ship breaks through the water. It's like, holy crap. All right. I gotta, I gotta undo this. I gotta undo the. Oh, well, you know what? Hold on. Let's stand in this room because we don't know. It might block it off and switch it to New York's finest. See what happens. All right. Uh Okay. Looks like somebody got 
dusted like exploded there or something i don't know that that changed anything else back here though it came out what was that oh it's out here fuck yeah it did come out of the water like the black pearl oh that's dark that's uh that's the shadow people man it's the shadow people the cult symbols there double triangles I did that. Don't I heal some when I when I go in here, or when I quick save? No, do I not? I thought I healed some when I go in these places. Maybe I'm wrong. I should heal though. I didn't realize how low on health I was. Ouch. I feel like trauma pads are hurting me worse. This whole game is weird. <laughs> it is. Murder, Casey. No one gets away with murder. We've already seen closed Casey. Oh, this is like, okay, this is the theater. This is, this is sounding loud. Theater hall, new scene. All right. Before I switch the scene though, I want to check around. Let's look at our map real quick. Is there anything? Okay, it doesn't say there's anything in here right now. All right, what's up here? Is this game like Assassin's Creed? Not at all. No. All right. Fuck, dude. Woo! My reaction time was actually halfway decent right there. Holy shit. All right, new battery. Good, good. Another trauma pad. I'll fucking take it, dude. I'm debating on whether I should use the trauma pad. Is there any reason for me to leave the light right here? I should probably take the light. I'm going to take the light. I'm gonna keep it. Cause I'm not sure if it changes anything out here or not. All right. Should I do the plot point? I should do the plot point, right? Do cult of the word first. See what happens. The scene had changed. Oh my God! There's a shadow person sitting right there. <laughs> I say, oh, I gotta be watching the screen for the time to tick down. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh, it keeps restarting. I don't like that. Oh, dude, that guy was sitting there the whole time. All right, what happens if I go back here? Will you guys leave me alone. Oh, there's a... Uh... Oh, shit, I gotta get up on stage. There's a uh, echo. Hold on. The urban legends circling oh, the God, there's so many. Rabbit hole. It's the urban legends circling Thomas Zane were a bottomless rabbit hole. Where? Oh, I, I see Casey. Digging. To film freaks, he was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema. A rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only created one film. Tom the Poet. Before he went missing. Mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie. Played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film. and early work made in Finland. Nightless Night. Rumored to have mystic properties some claimed it was a snuff film that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder there were no known surviving copies but the cult 
chased it as if it were their unholy grail. Just like Wake's books were. Okay. Oh, shit. All right, they're only coming from this way. What's the best? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I have changed the scene. What does that do? Whoa. Oh, there's even more. Oh, no. Ah, oh, shite, dude. Um. Does that, does... Uh... Alright, there's something over there. I don't know how to get there. I should go back up there. Which way am I trying? I need to get to the projector room, maybe? Okay. Alright. I think I need to go back up here. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Don't bother me. Hey, take care, Death Boomer. Appreciate you joining. All right, it's open. That's exactly what we were looking for. Yep. What does this say? Yoten Yo. That's what uh, Ahidi was talking about, but I don't know what that means. That's a Norse saying, right? Can I please pick up the other battery in here? Thank you. It was locked from the other side. All right. I need to change the scene then. How do I? Can I do it from here? Maybe. Here we go. I can do it from here. Pulse of the word, maybe I can get up there? Nah, damn it, the door's closed. Fuckity fuck. Oh, there's another... There's another echo here. What the fuck? You, it's you. Following your master into La La Land. A sad bunch of clowns in funny masks and hoods pretending to be a secret society. Maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. A role carefully laid out for you. A puppet blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless <laughs> night. What a the fuck have you been smoking? Survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the nightless night, you will find The nightless see. night. Oh my god. Nightless night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. All right, watch the fragment in the theater film hall. Okay. Uh, hey, what's up, Morgan M? Welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Glad to hear your dog's doing better. Thanks for joining again. Good to see you. All right, we uh, need to change this to Clip of the Lost Film and watch it. Right? Shit, dude. Fuck. Oh, my God. I can't move. That's Alex Casey on the screen. Stop hurting me! Oh, why can't I move? Why am I being killed? I can't do anything! Okay. What just happened? That is something... Hold on. Where is that going to put us back at? All right, skip this. Skip the skip the, the loading thing. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. All right, I want to finish this chapter. Okay, we have both of those. I want to finish this chapter and then call it a night because it's already 1.30 and I wasn't going to go too, too late. Damn it, I got to do all that again. I don't know what happened right there. You say we don't count that death for the death counter? Like, yeah, I was like moving the shit out of my... It's okay. It's only the second one. Yeah, I feel like that kind of like doesn't count though because I don't know what the fuck happened right there But I it was like I was stuck watching the film and I couldn't bother those guys or something All right, at least I, I kind of know what to do here Fuck that guy So this should go much faster now All right, I do need to heal though. And I'm actually gonna get full health. 
there we go all right we're gonna keep shotgun out we're gonna leave the light out i think and uh, maybe we should leave the light in right what we do need to do though is we need to change the scene We need to get the plan to these again. You, following your master into La La Land, a sad bunch of clowns in funny masks and hoods pretending to be a secret society. Or maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. We just saw a this. A role carefully laid out for you, a puppet blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult, huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? I love that line. Nightless delivery. Night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the nightless night, you will finally see. Nightless night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. Uh, by Red and Link are great, by the way. I see you guys talking about them. They're awesome. Dude, what the fuck? guys are hammering me there's another echo what's up bitch heal again did i kill him i can't even tell if i kill him i used so many shotgun bullets there all right trauma pad holy shit maybe taking them out they'll be off of me for now i gotta switch back the pistol that was a lot urban legends circling thomas Zane were a bottomless rabbit hole i'd done some digging to film freaks, he was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema. A rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only created one film. Tom the Poet. Before he went missing. Mirroring the vanity <laughs> character in the movie. Played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film. An early work made in Finland. Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. There were no known surviving copies. But I'd be fucked up, dude. Chased it as if it were their unholy grail. Just like Wake's books were. Wake. Wake. Stay the fuck away from me, you assholes. I need to watch the film, so I need to flip the script. What is this? It's, it looks like Alice K Alex Casey. But it's supposed to be a clip of that lost snuff film. What the fuck? That's Zane. Zane was in the clip holding my lamp. Was he playing me in his film? What the fuck? Zane's lamp on the screen had no light. I could transfer the light. The light of the lamp <coughs> shone out of the screen and revealed the door. A door over there. Okay. Investigate the alley. Wait. I, I never completed find a way in the... Into Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta fix all this. I never completed the objective to find a way into the prison. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, cult of the word. Flip back, I think. I need to go into the projection booth to complete that objective. I don't want to break the game accidentally. Because I've done that once before, remember? So we need to go into the projection booth just to... <laughs> knock this out of the way. The cops had gotten their 15 minutes of fame with the cult. And it had been a scream. They were the murder victims. I had to find a way into the projection booth somehow. Okay. The 
projection booth is going to be locked and we're going to find the way into it in the alleyway, I think. But we needed to do that first. All right. Now we'll go back out here. We'll flip it back to the film clip scene. Right. And then we'll go out the doorway to the alleyway. All right. Okay. Good shit. Should I shut the door? What should I do here? What is this? Oh, it's telling me to jump down. Okay. I out in the out night. The new night. scene. Okay. The seedy alley away from prying eyes was a good scene for dark deeds. Safe room. All right. There's a door out over there. Ooh, we got some stuff. Awesome. Oh, good stuff. Fuck yeah, dude. More batteries. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Art house films, poet cinema. All right. All right, let's save. All right, good shit. Is my hat crooked? Probably, dude. I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it. Crooked is how I roll. Marco, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Skilly, your shoe is untied. I'm not wearing shoes, man. I just got socks on. No shoes. No shoe club. All right. I don't have a map of this place, do I? I do. Kind of do. Scene out in the night. All right. We can. Ch I can change the scene here with all of my different plot elements, which I'll need to do probably. Don't talk to me. Leave me alone. I don't like that. I don't like the noises coming from that, bro. That is not okay. The fuck is that? Did uh, did uh, my wife correct it before stream? No. She didn't. <laughs> she was with Maybe one of the kids. Something on the plot board. Yeah, yeah. No, I know, Alan. I'm just... I'm just... Uh, verifying, you know, figuring everything out, checking everything before I flip the plot. What's up here? Staff only? Is this a projection room? Okay. All right, let's flip it. Oops, wrong way. Let's do Cult of the Word first. See what happens. All right, it Story says it's blocked off still. What changed? Someone had fallen to their death from the rooftop. What? Really? All right, I see an echo up there. We'll figure that out. Let's look at... Where's the part to line up, though, is the question. Can I see it from up here, maybe? No, negative, Ghost Rider. Averon! I hope I'm saying that right. I apologize if not... If you've watched me at all, you know I mispronounce everything. But thank you for the $5 super chat. Really appreciate that, dude. It helps out a bunch. Only my second time popping in to see you live. But love you, Skilly McPhilly. Hey, you're a legend, dude. Thanks again. <clears throat> all right, where's the... Do I have to go down this hole? <laughs> I don't want to go down a hole. Where's the... Where's the... The second part of this? Hmm. Is there not a ladder for me to get? I can figure this up? out on the plot board. All right, Alan, calm down, buddy. We're just making sure it, that echo is going to disappear if I change plot. I'm pretty sure, but let's try it. <gasps> what the fuck? I was making progress. Okay, did I just take the cop light or? Hold on. All right, no, no, no. I put light back, I think. I don't know. All right, there's another, there's a different echo this time. But how do I line that? Oh, okay, I see, I think I see where to line that one up. There we go. I think they're gonna want us to lack cut off a finger or something for this initiation do you nah. 
I'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff. N nothing to it. Well, it's about time. We paid our dues. Made plenty of their problems disappear. Dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do, it's all behind us now. We're going straight to the top, partner. <laughs> yeah, like we died and went to heaven. Why do these why do these New York City police officers sound like country hicks? He's like <laughs> They sounded so country. Alright, hold on. Where am I adding the light to or taking the light from? Oh, okay. Alright, it's that sign. Alright, hold on a sec. That's fucking weird, dude. What does that do, though? Other than change the sign, there's got to be a purpose. It turns on... It also turns on the... It gives me a safe haven. Okay. Maybe that's the... Maybe that's the only purpose, Skilly. All right. Hold on. Is the door open? No. All right. There was still... <clears throat> we got to flip back a cult of the word. There's an echo here. Yeah, there's a fucking echo. How do I get this echo? Do I have a map? Yeah, it tells me there's an echo right there. It says there's stairs over here, but they go down. If I get back in there, would I be able to look... Line it up, maybe? Hold on. <clears throat> There's got to be a way to get that echo. Has to be. From the garage. No, it says lost. Yeah, thank you for that. Mm. I don't see. It doesn't look like you can look at it from this way. My problem is I can't find... So there's always the, the blue whitish part, right? And then the black part for the echoes. And I can't find the... I can't find the black part for this one. You guys know what I'm talking about. We've done a lot of echoes tonight. I can't find it though. Where's it at? It's only in this scene too. So it's got to be here. There's got to be a way to do it. Oh, fuck. Moon0207, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining. Hey, good night, uh, Josue and your wife as well. Hannah, I appreciate you both joining and supporting, as always. Thanks for the gifted channel memberships again, too, dude. You rock. Okay. Fuck, dude. How? I feel like I'm going crazy here. Someone jumped from the roof. How do we? Okay, it must be. You know what? You know what? Maybe. Let's change this. Let's change it to the last one. Maybe we can get up to the roof and then we can switch it and we'll be able to. The plot change the details of the world. We'll be able to do it. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, maybe going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Hey, take care, Apollo. Have a good one. Thanks again, man, for the support and mod help as always, dude. You rock. All right, the door has to be open in this, right? It's not. Holy shit. So I need to figure out how to do that echo then. Fuck me. Nothing changed right there. I can't go up right there. Mr. Chainsaw said I just had it before switching. Really? How so? Yeah, I can't find the black part to this echo. That's the problem. All right, chat, you can help out if you want. Or if you know. Where's that? How do I get this echo? Anybody in chat know? Switch the light? I can't switch the light. There's no there's no light switch right here. Yeah. In this scene, in Cult of the Word scene, where it shows up, 
where this echo shows up, I can't switch it. Go into the building? Building is just the garage. There's no way up. What are you... What am I going into the building for? I've been in here. Yeah, this is the safe space. There's no... King Neon 27, by the way, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. Flip the switch? Speak and then there'll be an echo, Marco says. <laughs> Not in my room. There is no switch in here. What do you mean? This is a safe room. I can't take the light or give light. If I could, there'd be an A prompt on my screen. There's no changing here. Yeah. There's no way to go up in here. I can't go back here. No, not that. Then what room? What are you talking about? I need more direction. You yeah, know, that door is locked. This echo is going to unlock the board on the wall. What? The board on the wall. What the? F this? What? I am so confused. Go in what? I can't go in here. <laughs> what are you talking about? Have I tried jumping I and sure clicking my heels the twice? Board. <laughs> the board on the wall. What? Okay, hold on. Am I supposed to flip? I'll flip again. Oh, I see. I see. I see. All right, here we go. Thank you for the help. You weren't giving enough information though. I got to be honest with you, man. I'm not the smartest. You got it. You got to go into a little bit more detail. You got to give me more than that. <laughs> I need I need I need fuller Straight sentences. To the, top. <laughs> the dirty cops looked down the city. Their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. They told right, there we go. it was worth it. Um, do I, this is where somebody jumped, right? So I change it, cult of the word, change it now. <laughs> no, but I'm just giving you shit, dude. You know, I have no apologies necessary. Where is the fucking, do I need to go up higher for this fucking thing? It's over there more. Yeah, I need to be up higher. Okay. <laughs> I need specifics. Yeah, I need you to like write me an entire story, like a step by step instructions, you know? <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, I'm not smart enough to figure it out. All right, I think I should keep Colt of the Word on and keep going this way for now. Hey, don't, no, no, no talking. No talking to me. Right, I think it's over this way, right? How am I gonna be able to see fuck dude? What happens? Can I change the scene from here? I cannot so I have to be back over there to change the scene. Okay, hold on We might have to play with that some to get that echo Before we we go too crazy here 
because it does not look like we're in a place right now to get the echo this this took us on a route i did not expect all right i'm gonna use those pain pills or i'm gonna use one of those pain pills i should say wait i just equipped the pain pills dude Oh, it did. It used them. Okay, good. All right. Oh, hey. Oh my God. So many supplies. Flares. Everything your heart desires. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. All right. Map. We're good. <laughs> Misty, you're right. That's exactly the kind of directions I need. That's exactly it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back down here and try to change this uh, scene. Oh, fuck. Maybe this chapter is too long for me to complete. I don't know. We'll see. It's 2 a.m. already. Fuck, I, didn't, I wasn't going to go this long. It's almost another five hour stream. Goddamn. All right. You going to change this to New York's finest? Maybe. All right, and then see what that changes up here. If it changes anything up here. What I need to see should be over here. I feel like. Here we go. Excuse me. Don't talk to me. There we go. Anything in the box there? No. Oh, it's Tim. Am I actually going to be able to open the door and talk to Tim? No. Nope. Could not be opened on the side. Fuck, damn! I can't get to Tim lately. Why the fuck can I? Why is every can't be opened on this side? God damn! Tim doesn't want to talk. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit that goes under. All right, hold on. You know what? Let me check that out first. Cause I feel like that that other way is the way forward. Let me see what let me see what this has. I could save it and go to bed, but I'm I'm being stubborn. I want to finish this chapter. Oh, is this how we get into Tim? Hey, what's up, Tim? Hey, Tim. New map, huh? Yep. Look, I've never been to New York, but I can tell you that this ain't it. I heard you humming again. Yeah, I I can't get this song out of my head. It's a real earworm. What is it? I heard it in my dreams. I know that song you keep humming. It's the theme from Night Springs. That old sci-fi show? Sci-fi horror anthology. I used to write for a long time ago. Look, it sounds a bit nuts, but I think the song is connected to Door. Interesting. Or... <laughs> It's my subconscious telling me that this is all pretty out there. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what do we got? Oh my God, there's so much here. Door went missing in 1988. Age has not aged. Longevity, not human. Alien, magic. Uncle Frank would have known more, but he is dead. Not his real name. Hidden meaning. <clears throat> yeah, Door. <clears throat> Maybe he's just like an entity or like an SCP-like thing that can hop between realities. Who knows? And he has his own objective. By the way, welcome to the stream, Jesus. Good to see you again. Thanks for joining. Hey, take care, Moon. Thanks for joining while you could. Appreciate it. Remember, I was at the morgue. I was about to give evidence to the FBI. Door transported me here to this dream reality. Why? The red-headed woman connected to Door. I know her. I know her. Where do I know her from? Her identity changes. Connected to polyhedrons. She will come for me. Who's the red-headed woman? <clears throat> I don't know who that is. What is this place? A dream feels like it. Not real. No place. Every place. All places. Any place. Now New York. Not NYC. Away to another place. A nexus. Is door the gatekeeper or trying to get somewhere? Everywhere. Door, gate, portal, port, opening, access, window. Who, where, why, motive, why me? Facts. Missing time. No memory. Until now, I have always ended up here. Will I forget when I get out? Abducted. Aliens. Door. UFOs. Polyhedrons dreams mean but not me others i know yet they are different the red-headed woman 
Okay, so for those who don't know, Tim is the uh, sheriff of Bright Falls, Washington. And in the essentially opening chapter of the game, or like the second chapter, he is, for lack of a better term, when we're investigating the dead FBI agent's body, Nightingale, he is um, whisked away or kidnapped by the Dark Presence and put in the dark place here. And that's how we're running into him as Alan. And he is experiencing some of the same fucked up shit as Alan. He just can't write his own way out. So he's been trying to figure it out. We got the Poet's Cinema map. Nice. Or an updated version of the map, I should say. Good night, Averin. Take care. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Thank you for the do the dono. Mm, I don't know how much more I'm going to make it. <clears throat> All right. So, which way were we going? We were going this way. That's right. We need to go around here. All right. Well, at least we got to Tim that time. I still can't. All right. Am I supposed to go down? Is this a safe room? Yes, it is. And what scene am I on? Am I on? No, I am not. I'm on Cult of the Word. Okay, hold on. I might have to call it here. I'm going to go see. I want to not forget about this echo, though. So I'm going to try to get this echo real quick. And I think I got to call it, guys. All right. Let's see. The fuck? Uh, can I change it right here? I can change it. Yeah, this is how I get the echo. And then we'll go save. Let's see what the echo is telling us here. Yeah. You fucking move or I'll blow you away. You got me, Mr. Casey. I'm all yours. Go ahead. Ask that burning question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed, where he will project a new reality onto this one. And now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! He jumped to his death. Why he wasn't he murdered. The projection booth. Was that where I find the murder site? So now I can I can flip to the Grand Master thing and get into the projection booth. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to call it there, though, guys. Sorry, but it's late. I got to get some sleep. I got to try to take care of myself a little bit. <laughs> but holy shit, we made progress tonight. We did two whole chapters, and I think we're like three-fourths of the way through this chapter, so that's good. Just to recap, we are now, I think, about six and a half, seven chapters away from completing the game. So I think we're about roughly like 65 70% done. Um, some of the chapters are short, some are longer, but I think we've got like probably three more Alan Wake streams ahead of us. I am 100% definitely going to be back next Friday. Next Friday, it's the final Lords of the Fallen stream with Arrow and me. Um, we'll be finishing up that game. We did the last beacon or the last, uh, beacon before the final boss thingy beacon thing, um, last night. So last Lords of the Fallen stream next Friday and then next Saturday will be Alan Wake 2 again. If I'm able to at some point during this week, there might be a random weekday skilly stream where we can we play more Alan Wake 2, but I don't know if that's possible yet. I don't know what the week holds and how everything goes. We'll just see with work and with kids and all that. But if I can, I will. Otherwise, there'll be another collab video next Friday too, as always. And I'm going to try to put out, I have a solo vid that I've been editing and working on. That should be coming to either Tuesday, Wednesday-ish, hopefully. So keep a lookout for that. But thanks, everybody, for joining. I appreciate all the support. I hope all of you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Everybody take care. Be awesome. Stay awesome.